Eh. Now wait, you gotta wait on the screen now for some reason. What? If you minimize wait the, screen on the screen while going live, it doesn't work. You're live. Now do I have to wait for that to no, go no, away? No, now you're that? actually live. Huh, what a juicy, juicy delight you gave me right before we <laughs> Shut up. And I can't say anything. Don't say anything. Unless no. someone guesses it no. with a super chat of $20. A super chat, yeah, Only sure. then can I talk about it. We have other stuff to talk about. I gave Dick a juice. Yeah, but you can't do that to me because I can't. I have a disability where I can't think of. <laughs> if you tell me something like that, I can't think of anything else. No, everything. Uh, so I can't do the show. It's not that. It's not that big a thing. I'm. I'm probably. You know, thinking too hard about. Look it. at this. First of all, two problems. Yeah. I have white on white, so I look like a. An yeah, asshole. I was gonna say that's well, weird. I <laughs> I didn't remember that I was wearing white shorts when I, mean, I was you're, drying. You're at home, it's fine. I got my stupid fish tank shirt. Yeah. And I was all excited to wear it on the show, so I washed it. Right. And then I take it out of the fucking dryer, and it's got a big fucking it's got smudge a big, on it. Weird, like yellowish stain on there. I don't know if people can see it. It's all over it. How did that happen? If you just got I it, I just got it. I opened the bag and put it into the washing machine. You wash a brand new shirt when you get it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's all like. It has creases and it's itchy. Weird. It's itchy. Okay. Well, this sucks. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, like, maybe that's on purpose. Maybe they pre-stain them. Or so. you think they pre-stain it? You think Frank hassled my shirt like the Pope? How he I blesses mean, everything in the gift the shop. Package? The Is your name on the package? Yeah. So, so maybe you got hassled. Maybe they said, "Oh, it's going to Dick." Frank, let's, if, let's wipe our ass with it. You think it's ass on my shirt Dude, that I got? That's a weird stain. That there's well, no way that's just... great. You think of ass right away when you see my new shirt? I mean, I've been watching that show. All they do is piss and, and spit on each other. Look, it's all over it. <laughs> it was, it was, this was like a $40 white shirt. I thought I was going to look like a black guy and have like a crisp white shirt. Was there something in your dryer that got on it? No. What would be in a dryer? I don't know. All my other clothes are in there just fine. God damn it. Yeah, there aren't, yeah it is weirdly stained. I think they punked you, man. It's all over here, too. Yeah, Look. it's right under the little fish a little bit. Oh, my God. So I got to wash it again? Yeah, I think you got to take, like, a Tide stick and go over the stains and get them Lit. out. You ever get those little, like, you rub on the stain and... Yeah, I have a Tide stick. You got a Tide stick. But then it will make one thing look like bleach, so it looks like you <laughs> come. It's white. It'll look fine. It doesn't look good if you use a Tide stick. Kelly Ripper, How whatever that, that bitch is. Act? Was that like shirt $40? actually $40? Yeah. I bought it before my plumbing all went bad. I'm going to take a picture of it and make them for 20 Kill Dozer, that industry. Just get bootleg fish tank merch. This sucks. Yeah. Why didn't you get the Josie shirt like uh, Tony from Hack the Movies? Fuck Josie. Fuck jo <laughs> fuck people who like Josie. <laughs> have you seen he's been getting ripped apart because he's like the poster boy? <laughs> the, of josie -ing? Yeah, they have a picture of him wearing the Josie stimming shirt, and everybody's going, oh, this is what Josie fans look like, and it's always Tony from Hack Why don't the you movies? stim my nuts, you bitch? <laughs> How about that? Uh, Fucking Ting Tang Walla Walla Bing Bang all night? How I would have gone in there and smashed that shit. What's the deal with this straighten airsoft? Straighten up, you fucking puzzle piece. What's the deal with this airsoft fatty guy? Why does he just get naked and break stuff? Because he's fat. You should want to do uh -oh. that. Uh-oh. Audio, audio clipped there for a second. Still good? Still recording? It wasn't recording at all. That's why. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> it's just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's, it's like recording. I'm doing more fucking audio work tonight. Yeah, you're gonna have to pull it from the show, and probably <sighs> our YouTube will get banned, so you won't even be able to do that. So, oh hey, yeah, that thing. I mean, we're gonna talk about it at some it's point. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Are we saving that? Let's save that. I thought so. You're just saying you can't. I can't talk about stuff you're saying, but you can talk about whatever you want that's happening to me. Well, I didn't say. You know, it just kind of came up naturally. You volunteered it. Well, I realize now that our YouTube channel is definitely going away in like the next six months and it's going to be your fault, but that's fine. How is it my fault? <laughs> I didn't even do anything that bad. I didn't even do anything bad. I know you didn't. I, I, you might still get your channel back. Yeah. Did you did you lodge another appeal? Yeah, I just typed the N-word until it that's said not there's helpful. no more characters. That's not useful. Don't do that. Then I, I did a robo lawsuit. Mm. You know that do not pay thing? You can file robot lawsuits against people? That's not going to work. Well, what else am I going to do? 
<laughs> fucking, I got my own. You got Indian guys? I got fucking robots. Let's see who's gonna fight. Who's gonna fight in the streets to figure out who's right and who's wrong? Well, I think. Are we? I mean, are we just talking about it now? You want to start the show? What are we doing? Let's we'll start the show. I start guess. the show. It's already ruined. Yeah, it's all ruined. Your shirt's ruined. The show's ruined. I mean, come on, man. How, what could I have put in the washing machine that would cause this? <laughs> I think they fucked with your shirt, and then they sent it to you. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I should have put a different name on there. Yeah, you probably should have. Sam Hyde's probably laughing because Dick's wearing his piss shirt for a full episode. At least you washed it before you put it on. Maybe it was smart that you did that. So now it just looks like piss instead of actually being piss. Piss wouldn't go. Piss would go in a blotch, though. This is like smears. Maybe they took like a little sponge and they dipped it in piss, and they kind of they are smears. Yeah. What do I got to do? How do I fix this? I think you got to talk. I got to talk to the manager. Well, I got to talk to Jet. I think you could maybe send him a message. Go, hey, what's the deal? What's the deal? Yeah. Someone shit all over my shirt. Someone shit all over Someone my fish tank shirt. all over my shirt. And it is a little schmutched up. It's a little too big, too. I should have got it large. I was going to say, it looks weight. a little big on you. I was fat Did when I bought it. Did you lose weight? Yeah, I lost, like, probably 20 pounds. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah? No, I have no idea. You, you don't weigh yourself? No. Let's, I got to scale upstairs. Go do it. <laughs> Let's weigh you every week. See how that... <laughs> that how that Wagovi or whatever the fuck? I don't even remember what it's called now. Semi-glutide? Yeah, I forgot to inject it. I think I'm overdue. You forgot to do your magical weight loss medicine? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you yep. couldn't even be asked to do that? <laughs> they invented a fucking magical... <laughs> they invented a magical cure for fatness, and I'm all you have to do inject is inject it, it <laughs> and it makes you not eat and shed weight <laughs> like a prize fighter, and you couldn't even do that. I'm really just... I can't remember to do shit. I gotta figure it out. This is the only thing I can alarm remember on your to do phone. every week. I have all these alarms and they go off and I don't know what they're for. Well, you gotta <laughs> title them. Yeah, but I I don't know, man. Like, in a fan, please email Vito every day at six p.m. <laughs> telling him to take but I'll his be a fat person I'll be shot. I'll sleep at six p.m. It'll be like ten I, p.m. I don't know. No, it's just like it always changes. Everyone email Vito all day and tell him to take his shot. This week's been all over the place. I had to go on OAN at nine. 9 a.m. and then I have to go on fucking other shows later. What kind of other shows did you go <laughs> on? Alex Stein. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Some people said they you know, yes. it was fine. I don't know. Biggest problem. I my rhyme. In the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe. Fucking, I had a rhyme and I forgot it. I wrote it down on the notes thing and it didn't make it over to the computer notes thing. I'm your host, Dick Masterson. I didn't forget it though. I'm joining me as always, Vito Giswaldi. I had a good one. Oh no, wait, I didn't have a good one. Women in Star Wars to ripping up all my floors. That's my... That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's okay. How you been? Star whores is what that problem should have been. <sighs> it's a little, a little much. It's a little much. You're it's like right. a U way to do it. That's it's a little not much. not an EVS way to do it. Everybody loves that guy. Uh, Well, not everybody loves that guy, but yes. Not everyone loves EVS? <laughs> yes. What do you mean? Can you move that mic for a second? I gotta well, zoom like in. I said, I, I want to re-zoom in. On I went on a... Big enough. Okay. Yeah. I, no, I'm way too big. You're way too big? All right, how about that? Yeah, that's probably better. Well, still move the mic, though. I got to focus it on you. It's focused. There you go. No, it's slightly different. Right. You can't tell. Because uh, you're wearing those fucking nerd glasses that you got I on. went on another show with these guys, mm -hmm. and they were, like, mad that I had uh, Ethan on our show. Because they're, like, lefty comic fandom guys or whatever. They don't even like that a guy is, like, making comics, minding his own business, like Eric July. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that's where it gets complicated. Uh, no, they think, they think Ethan, I mean, I get it. He's got like politics that people don't like. And yeah, I just think Ethan's smarter than most of those guys in that sphere. Yeah. Like there are guys in that sphere, I think, who are like legitimately like, yeah, there shouldn't be any gay comic characters. Gay people are evil. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, uh, I don't think Ethan I got bad news for you, buddy. They're all gay. <laughs> and so are you for reading comics. <laughs> <laughs> it's all very complicated. I'd say it's been it's been a weird fucking week, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
Okay. Why? Well, because I got like, you know, left wing guys lecturing me for having Ethan on the show. And then I'm going on One America News Network and I'm like, do I belong here? Am I supposed to be here? And I'm just like, I just, I don't understand politics. Oh, it's a, it's a anything goes contest for resources. That's what it is. Let me help you out. I just want to like. It's a bunch of lying for resources. I just really want to make a fun comic, but I feel like if I just did that, nobody would care. <laughs> You know, I'm having this existential crisis. Your whole where I'm comic like, thing just makes me never want to make a comic. <laughs> like, if you're listening to the show and you wanted to make a comic because you thought it would be fun and cool, just like don't. Well, I thought it would be fun and cool, and then like it became this whole fucking thing. And I'm fighting with Eric July. You are doing that. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Why don't you just say nice things for a week? I'll try. <laughs> 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 and you're not taking your fat medicine. I'm not taking my fat medicine. And I'm just really confused. Okay. I don't know if I like. I don't think you could survive a day in my world. No. With the I, amount well, of I actual hardships couldn't. I have to endure. Yeah. Like my YouTube channel getting canceled. Right. My plumbing being destroyed. My shirt having a big stain on it that I didn't put there. There's a big difference. Yeah, but I think you know who you are. You know, you're like, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm Dick Masterson. I'm this guy. I'm on Cozy. Yeah. I'm on, yeah, you're, I'm on yeah. Cozy. I'm having fun with Nick Fuentes. Yeah. And you I know go. How many vi- YouTube deleted all my videos, too. I had like six million videos there deleted. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like I'm more upset about that than you are. Maybe you're just maybe you're just handling it really well or wearing a mask. To- I don't give a shit. Why not? I don't care about. That's sad. Sad for whom? I'm sad that your channel got deleted. It bums me out. <laughs> Don't be bummed out. It bums me out because uh, I, I hate this idea that these tech companies have that power yeah, to just well. immediately decide that all this hard work you've done is just garbage and trash because an algorithm decided Bro, it. Or guess what? I'm coming to kill them. I mean, I <laughs> stop. You're I'm get not this fucking chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> stop. I'm trying. I am always, all the time, trying to fuck up their democratic, liberal, tyr- tyrannical stranglehold over the country. Sure. Yeah, of course they fucking cancel my shit. I'm doing that at all times. Of course the bank's fucking doing that all the time. I'm anti them. Fuck them. So surprise, surprise, right. they fucked. Me and all the people working there, every fat bitch working there, every fucking moron reporting me to, I'm coming for all of you. Keep going. Let's go. You want a war? You fucking got one. I guess I just don't have your your fortitude. I I wouldn't be able to handle it. If my YouTube channel gets deleted, I don't know what happens. (laughs) Crying. No one's getting a comment. That's what will happen. (laughs) I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would cry. I didn't cry when my Twitter got deleted. I was just really like, God damn it. Yeah. It's just like constant, you're just trying to make stuff, and you just want to be able to go to a human being and be like, listen, man, I just want to make people laugh. I just want people to have fun. I don't. I want to hurt people. (laughs) I want to hurt their feelings so they feel bad about saying what they have to say and what they think (laughs) so that I can take their resources because that's the game we're in. Did you really get knocked for the Transformers thing, or was that a different thing? Yeah, I got got knocked for that. I got knocked for everything. That was a copyright strike they hit you with? They hit me with copyright. They hit me with... uh, yeah, copyright strike for that. And then the final strike was uh, Tess Holiday. I got unbanned and then I got rebanned an hour later. For making fun of Tess Holiday? The very first Fat Watch. If you can believe that. They said that was harassment. That's harassment, yeah. I agree, but she's the one doing it. She's she, harassing all of us with her fatness. She's, she's a, like a rich, famous person, right? Doesn't she have and money? She has anorexia. Yeah. Well, she obviously has money. Look at the size of her. But she's a public she figure. Six dinners a she's day. She's a public figure. Vito. You can criticize public. Here's 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 the thing. Like, Not like I do. You can't. Yeah. Not like I do. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. Like I'm terrified, and you're just like I guess just run with it. You're like fine with it. <laughs> That's what tyranny is. It's terror. (laughs) They are intending to inflict terror and harm. Yeah. I'm constantly in fear for my my livelihood. Yeah. Like, (laughs) you think like begging and explaining to them is going to work? No. (laughs) Uh, 
All right, fine. I'm going on cozy. Guess what? I'm going to say even worse stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> you going on cozy is going to be a real challenge for uh, for a number of reasons, but. <laughs> You know what? I can't I can't fault you for it. You got to go somewhere, right? They picked a good picture of me for Cozy. They did. It was a really Adam, nice picture. Adam 22 screwed me. I hope the Groypers like us. I don't there's going to be they're not going to like a lot of my nihilism and stuff, but they're not going to like well they're Christian or they're Catholic. I don't know. They're we all hate guys. women. That's, that's what's all important. Get guys, don't <laughs> you know? Yeah. Maybe I'm not so fan, much a fan of God and stuff, but let's all remember what's important. See, that's why. That's let's remember what, what got us here. Yeah, women. You, you're always like, I forget what it was. You're like asking me something. And you're like, why are you the way you are? And I'm like, because I'm just convinced that at any point it just ends and you're in a ditch and you die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's like, you're like, why aren't you like excited about your comic? And I'm like, yes, in the like immediate short term, this is, this is good. And this is great. And don't yeah. forget, we're almost at $35,000 on Indiegogo. Head that's on nothing there. compared to what Ethan said you should be at though. Well, he said a hundred thousand dollar bus. That's definitely not happening. It would be if you, if you apologized to Eric July and got on his stream. I'm, well, I'm not going to get on his stream. Maybe you would. I, I don't know what to say about Eric July. I want I want, I'm I can appreciate that he made a comic. That's it, you know. <laughs> That's like the most condescending thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, anymore. you tried <laughs> that cake in The Simpsons. Well, you, <laughs> well, you tried. You tried, and then he puts it in the you know. yeah. This is gonna be a weird show. I got a lot of emotions just to okay, float well, around. Let's do the uh, who's winning? You're acting like your YouTube channel got canceled. Uh, land acknowledgments number it one. Feels like my YouTube channel got canceled. Yeah. I feel you. Uh, see, you say I don't have any empathy, but I do for a situation I can actually understand. Yeah, but you're just feeling you it your for house, yourself. You don't, under, you don't <laughs> empathize with me. You feel I like it happened with to you. you. Like I'm sad. And your, and your audience and like all the comments that were on the videos and all the, the history that's there. Who cares? Some of that stuff. I care. <laughs> I don't know. It's just sad that it's just gone. Like some some fucking robot decided. A woman just yeah, decided. A woman decided worse decided, than a robot. Probably a woman. The robot said it was fine. And I, a woman came in and gobbled it up. If I would be profoundly sad about the situation. I guess you're making the most of it. You're also going to be on Rumble or something? Or, uh, yeah, Rumble too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so who won? Land Acknowledgements, you won. My I bitch won. realtor, number two. And then women in Star Wars, third. That's too bad for Ethan EVS. Well, I think he was learning the rules of the show, and maybe uh, maybe we'll have him back. Uh, Chris Hyde says, Natives in Washington State always get time at ribbon cuttings and parades to fuck around shouting and hitting drums like Yoko Ono. So fucking annoying. Man, they did that at Burning Man this year. They had this the whole, whole, like... ceremony? Yeah, for Natives to dance and do drums and shit. It was really... Crass. It was like worse than blackface in a way. Yeah. Because at least like blackface is you know funny. Like everyone knows why blackface is done. Is yeah. I don't even explain it. But then then instead of that, it's like worse to just oh no this we actually are just bringing black people in here to do this right. <laughs> like that's way worse. <laughs> bringing the natives out there in this hellscape to like Dance for the pleasure of a bunch of yeah. privileged yuppie drug addicts. Is everyone just like standing there and sitting clapping? Yeah. Wow, this is so much. Somber. They're so in tune with the earth. It's kind of like a fucking petting zoo. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, Adrian says, Vito pussying out on going to the WGA strike to counter protest was a huge lost opportunity on a potential, potentially great bit. Dick describing you guys dressing up as robots with signs had me in tears. For shame, Vito. I will do the bit. If, Maybe you'll do it now? If I can do it under protest. I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some, you gotta get somebody else to film it though, because I don't want you know. Just, okay, okay. Is there a guy who'll do it? Maybe. Uh, Mr. Go ahead. Well, I'm thinking the video is funny if you're like, we're gonna go get those writers. And I'm like, I'm doing this out of protest. I don't agree with the sentiment, but I do agree with the comedic spirit. I understand the joke and it is funny. Uh, Mr. Graphicsable, man, I'm so happy this show exists. Me too, but make sure you super chat that. Don't just waste it in a Yeah, and make sure you subscribe because YouTube's gonna, or, uh, make sure you hit up the Patreon because it's gonna yeah. be the only way to find us. 
after Dick gets in with his new cozy buddies and they flood the fucking chat with yeah, cool. 1488 super chats or whatever the fuck. What's that mean? You know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, that's, uh, oh, yeah, okay. Um, not a mark. My sister graduated from college recently, and the dean said that we like to recognize this land belonging to whatever made up tribe. I'm sure the majority of non Americans in the audience really gave a shit. Good and relatable problem, Vito. Oh, is he saying that's bad? He's saying, no, I think he's saying, I think he agrees with me. Is he being sarcastic at the end there? I can't tell because he said it happened to them, and he, then he said that uh, it's not relatable. Or it is related. I'm I think sure a majority it is of relatable. Okay, well, a good and relatable problem, Vito. Okay, imperial fool, uh, being Native American and getting our farm expropriated has been an awful and hilarious experience, especially when they start the expropriation meetings by acknowledging the tribes that were kicked off the land while kicking us off it again. Makes you really want to buy 45 tons of fertilizer. Wait, why are they expropriating your shit? Is it like government seizure or something? Yeah, banks. Uh, have you ever noticed how like Warren Buffett's always big on the estate tax? Yeah. That's so banks will tax the heirs of farms, and then he can come in and buy, buy the, the whole fucking farm. Yeah, because you can't, like, if you have a farm, you're razor thin margins. Yeah. Passing it on to your kids is like you have to pay tax on now, like, a value of land that's like $500,000. Right. Which you can't do. Yeah, you don't have that money. So they that. take it away from you. And oh, then while horrifying. they're taking it away from you, they say, just want to acknowledge that the we're here. The at- Waponkamoak, who uh, once famously owned this shit. They look like this guy over here. We're taking his farm. <laughs> the hellscape. What the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> I just want to buy a house, and these billionaires keep making it impossible. I want to be a homeowner. I'm sorry, who makes it impossible? The billionaires. <laughs> what do you want me to say? The Democrats? Is that the correct answer here? Well, the Republicans getting aren't closer. Giving, the Republicans aren't giving out houses either. Uh, let's let's see. Last one, David Gomez. God, Ethan wants his stuff to mean so much. Escapism in media is lost on these trad f slurs. <laughs> what does that mean? I think he was saying Ethan was taking it too seriously. That he was saying like uh, he wants his stuff. He wants to there mean to be a so legacy. Much. He wants to, to, to leave a legacy with his work. That's I don't the think point that, of art. Isn't that you every dummy? artist. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you thinking when you painted this season, the Sistine Chapel? I, don't know, I just, I just like, you know, it out for yeah, fun. So that'd be cool. <laughs> you know, guys like, whoa. And then Adam's like, whoa. Like no one ever thought of that before. I'm like, whatever. I mean, there's some of that, but I think, yeah, if you're sinking your entire life into a creative work, you hope that it's something that resonates with people on a deeper level. That's a fucked up thing to say to Ethan. <laughs> It's a fucked up thing to think. Oh, you want people to think your book's, like, so good. Like, yeah. You want what people you to connect and, like, have happiness in their life? What a fucking loser. That's the what most, a fucking that's idiot. The most nihilistic fucked comment ever. Oh, you, you made stuff to something so with your much. hands and you want people to f- be inspired by Escapism, it? Escapism, guys, this. right? <laughs> Jesus. I work 18 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucking loser like trying to judge dread trying comment. To inspire people. <laughs> Jesus God, can Christ. you imagine building a language of metaphors <laughs> to communicate with other people about death and loss and <laughs> the nature of the intransigence of man? What a fucking nerd. What a jackass. We really live in like a. Look, guys, like. I know you got to be a little nihilistic to get through this this fucked time we live in. I get it, but like at the at the point you're going, man, art is for f slurs. Like you've lost the game. All right, he's not even saying that. It's just saying, God, he wants it to mean so, and he capitalized so. He wants it to mean so much. Yeah, it's gay to create something that inspires, you know, and. <laughs> Whatever, man. This is nuts. Uh, Abrasive says Vito is so butthurt about Eric July, he can hardly even fabricate a plausible argument for why. I think I, you're so. Butthurt. I think I gaslit Ethan Van Shiver. Look, the real the real problem is that a guy who can't write got a bunch of money. <laughs> That's it. I don't know why you didn't say that when he asked you. You just started going off. I'm like, wait. The problem is that he can't he can't make a good comic book. Well, because there's other pro. Because like I. I'm at odds where I go, look, I want there to be, like, independent success for people. Mm -hmm. And I am, like, upset when people go, well, here's the the indie king. And I'm like, yeah, but not this. This is dog shit. Right. Like, why don't you guys find... And I think Ethan makes good stuff. He knows how to fucking draw and he knows how to make a comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just... And it's not even jealousy... 
from me because I don't think I'm made. I don't know. Whatever. I think he got picked as the savior because he's friends with all these douchebags and they promote him everywhere. And I go, yeah, but he sucks. Yeah. He just sucks. Can it be anyone else? It's not that. Yeah, can, can it be you somebody pick? with? Can it be a black guy that's I, like? Good I don't at even care if you pick comics. like a weird homophobic libertarian black guy. Just pick one who can like write a really cool comic. And I go, well, that is a really cool comic you made. I can't yeah. even argue with it. Yeah. Like Instead, Ender's Game. Yeah. Like that's awesome. Yeah. And that guy just fucking is like, gay marriage is the worst fucking thing that ever happened to anybody. I'm like, well, he made it. Take Ender's off game. the gay part. I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is sent in by uh, I should just your be mom. More, I should just be more straightforward. I should stop overthinking things. My problem with Isom is that it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> brevity is you the know? soul of levity. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> A great man came up with that one. Uh, you know, I have problems with Eric July unrelated to the fact that his comic sucks, but his comic also black, sucks. But his comic also It's not because he's black. <laughs> Uh, here is a clip that was sent in by your mom 420. All right. This is from my a, a long time ago clip On from my show. show. Yeah, here. I had a little, you know, like video of wax in your ear. I and go then... through Q tips like crazy. I go through Q tips like Why crazy. Why is that? Because you got so many cats. That's not right? a secret. I'm pretty sure I've brought that up here before. I have I have a box of Q tips on my desk <laughs> always. And I have to hide them whenever I he got you. He Take busted you <laughs> with his sleuthing. He busted you. No, I dropping talk. clues like a serial killer about your weird pl- proclivities. There with was Q-tips. there was one year, like three years ago, where I got like like four ear infections in a row, and I don't know what I was doing wrong. So I just now always have Q-tips, and every time I take a shower, I obsessively <laughs> make sure my ears have no moisture remaining in them because. It was the most painful and excruciating. Experience. Have you had an ear infection any time? In the uh, I don't think so. Re- oh my dude, I wanted to. I wanted to stab my ears out. It was like I don't. Yeah. I did not know, fathom that it could be that painful. It was crazy. Oh, wow, just like a literal like stabbing in my ear, and I'm like, I like that. It felt like someone was stabbing my ear. Let so, me yeah. ask you something. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you jack off, when you masturbate the cats with a Q-tip, do you use the same Q-tip in your ear? Because yeah. that could. Oh, that might be the pro. Oh. Darn. All right. That's the same reason I bought that <laughs> ear uh, camera. Did you get an ear camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fun, right? It is fun. Once. <laughs> Did you find anything in there? A lot. Wait, you have a, lot, a you lot. Had a lot of weird fucking wax in your ear? It wasn't weird wax. It was normal wax. Well, you ever watch the videos on like YouTube where they got like crazy amounts of wax and the guys got to use like crazy tweezers to pull it out and stuff? <laughs> oh, dude, those videos are awesome. That's part of why I got the camera because yeah. I wanted... But that was the weirdest thing is I kept getting ear infections. Anything? No, there was like nothing in there. So I was like, what the fuck am I even getting ear infections for? I put it in my dick hole after that. Want to talk about weird? <laughs> I found some weird stuff I in there. I did put it on my nose Spiders. just to see what it looks like. And it was it was weird. It was. Yeah. Okay. Those spy cameras, those things are cool. Well, you're the, uh, I'm the, you're winner. the big winner this week. So I'm the why winner. You? And I left my phone in a, in a non-phone area so i can't order another drink this is gonna be a rough one fantastic <clears throat> well dick my problem is a problem that's actually uh, right here mm-hmm. as we can see the beautiful arizona can this is the iced tea with peach flavor pretty good yeah this might be my you know what i don't normally get the peach the peach tea but i'm gonna say this might be my new favorite flavor okay uh what i love about the arizona can as you can see it is a great buy Mm-hmm. 99 cents right there 99 cents yeah it's just corn 99 oil, trash. well wouldn't be shouldn't be more than that no it's, it shouldn't it's premium well it's paid a, for by the government it too. is a premium brewed blend of black teas using filtered water yeah okay high fructose, high fructose, corn, fructose syrup, corn syrup whatever. that's what it citric is citric acid natural peach flavor Perfect. Look, these are delicious. You don't drink, you don't like an Arizona it's tea sugar water. No, I don't like drinking that shit. It's like even thinking about the you're taste lost. of it, you're lost. How do you drink so much of it? What do you mean so much? This is how many ounces? Twenty three fluid ounces. Oh my god! And it's a great buy at ninety nine cents. Okay. But as I discovered today at the Egg Roll King, yeah, some some retailers aren't playing by the rules. Uh, okay, even though it says it on the can, Arizona iced tea, two forty nine, two forty nine. <laughs> Dick, my problem is artificial Arizona inflation. This is an outrage. 
And it's not the first time I've encountered it, and it will not be the last. Okay. Retailers are trying to take a beloved American institution and gouge the consumer. Yeah. Knowing that we go in. It says it right on the can. When I go, let me get one of those Arizona teas in my mind. I don't expect any surprise markup to be hitting me at the register. She gave me the total. and I, I, I did a double take. I asked for a printed receipt. I had to know uh. what has happened. You know why? Because Arizona is a great American company. It's family owned by uh, the Vagados. Okay. Just a bunch of... <laughs> Just a bunch of weird Italians, I believe. Is that Italian or Greek? I don't Sounds know. Italian. Is that different? It was a guy. He ran a uh, he ran a delivery company, mm -hmm. and he saw that even in winter, people were drinking Snapples like crazy. They loved. <laughs> this is a real story. Yeah, he ripped off Snapple. He it's not really a great story. Well, he ripped off, and I would say elevated the iced tea game. Okay. By introducing the Arizona brand, which is beloved. What is so beloved about the Arizona brand? Well, it's the fact that they keep their prices low. Uh, <laughs> since 1990, I had the year, but I, I, it says, this is 1992. Uh -huh. Arizona's been around. Even now, in a time of great inflation, Dick, did you know the price of aluminum has oh, doubled in the past 18 months? Doubled the price of aluminum. Okay. The price of high fructose corn syrup has tripled since 2000. And gas prices are pumping up delivery costs across the nation. And yet yeah. the Vagados keep it at an affordable 99 cents. It should be $9 a can. <laughs> no, no. Just because you would pay it. And <laughs> No, I would. That's what it should <laughs> I had That's what they said about cigarettes. Everybody said, oh, if these are two bucks a pack, there's no way I'm going to pay it. And then the Vagados care about us. They, But they've also been very shrewd businessmen. They've managed to maintain a less than a dollar price point by focusing on efficiency. They pack their recycled aluminum cans, and their cans use about half the aluminum of other competing <laughs> beverage companies <laughs> at twice the speed they did in the 90s. And they also only ship the tea in lightweight trucks at night to avoid <laughs> traffic slowdowns. This I is how they make it 99 cents? Yes. Is that the fucking they point of this? They ship it at night. Book report that By you're lowering reading? lowering the cost of production and shipping, Arizona passes the savings on to you. They also save a fortune because they don't need to advertise. It's oh, yeah, clearly, because you guys will right. fucking talk Brand about it nonstop. Loyalty. There's no stupid, uh, what do you call it, guy on the can telling you, no LeBron James telling you to guzzle it down. They don't need to pay fancy uh, celebrities to get the word out. People know about the value. Okay. So now. what? Do your Chinese store overcharged you for <laughs> Arizona iced tea and you're upset about it? Yes. You could just drink water. It's free. Well, I like Arizona. I had notes that the can the company is so devoted to this 99 cent price point that they actually have a hashtag campaign, keep the 99, where consumers can send them pictures of uh, marked up cans. That's why they print it on the can. They don't want them to mark it up. Oh, well, sure. And yet these Yeah, these keep it cheaper than everything else so people keep drinking this slop. <laughs> it's not slop. It's the same it's as literally any. slop. What are you drinking? <laughs> Whiskey. With Diet Coke. Oh, okay. So Diet Coke is fine. <laughs> No, the whiskey is the part that I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, I Diet just, Coke is a is like a time a machine. Why don't you have a whiskey and water? <laughs> water? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should. <laughs> you could. Uh, it would look like piss. Yeah. I don't want to look like I don't want to look like somebody. You, you don't want to look, look like, like Arizona what's all over your shirt. Point is, Dick. The Arizona company cares about the consumer, and clearly these greedy retailers do not. I don't know. Have you seen the famous, uh, I think it was an episode of, what's that show that black guy did? Um, Too Frat for 15. Is that what <laughs> show you're thinking of? My 600 pound life. I, I hate the this. thousand pound sisters. What are you, what show are you thinking about? Uh, Donald Glover. <laughs> Community? No, but the other one, his show. It was like Detroit, not Detroit. It was Detroiters? No, it had the name of it Atlanta. That was the name of his show, right? Oh, Atlanta. I think so. It was about like black people living with white people. Oh, a black around. Well, yeah. one one black man takes <laughs> That's Atlanta for you. 
Yeah. I think that I didn't watch it. Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> and then it's like a black guy. You think this is racism, boy? You ought to see it back in my day. You the no, that's not what the show was at all. I don't yeah. know how and you then an even it. older black guy comes and goes, that wasn't even racism back in my day. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I haven't seen know. this shit before. Thanks, Donald Glover. <laughs> right. Oh, man. All America's right. so racist. Oh, wow. I'm glad that you know like, every, it must be so every hard. black uh, sitcom <laughs> has been determined by you. <laughs> Point is, uh, could be a, let's go down to the writer's strike and pitch our and pitch that show. <laughs> you want to go to the writer's strike and increasing pitch ideas? That's the a whole good show is like Quantum Leap, but black guys where a black guy complains and an older black guy comes in like, well, actually, I'm from fucking the year 1100 <laughs> and a bar, right? We should That'd be go, fun. We should go down to the writer's strike with like typewriters and just a mm-hmm. uh, sign that says, uh, "We will write episodes of Modern Family, five ninety nine an episode." Yeah. Scabs for hire. And let's put on wigs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just go, this shit is trans. Easy. Whatever you want, hire us. Yeah, we'll be trans. Okay, so. It's the point is that I was trying to make is that, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to vote down this problem. <laughs> I think some people will identify with this problem. I don't, you know, I like Arizona tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think if it says on the can 99 cents, it's false advertising. They can't charge more than that. that should be a law so against So you want it. them to put a sticker on the 99 cent things? I so mean, it doesn't say it? That's what they try to do. They try to cover it up. The Arizona, the Arizona company says that it has been a problem. It's people putting stickers over the 99. I mean, they can sell it for whatever they want. It's a free market. But really, 250 250 I understand. What would make you go, no? How much would it have to be? $7, I bet. Three is the most I would pay for an Arizona. Which is a lot. I don't know about Really? I'm not paying four dollars for four dollars for this. I'll just go to the Seven Eleven or something. But Seven Eleven won't even sell them anymore now. A lot of Seven Elevens have like their own tea brand. That's all other problem. Uh, is it way tastes Arizona way different? Erasure. Their sugar yeah, it water. Tastes like shit. This is not look. The Arizona is it is a premium blue, brewed black tea. I'm gonna say premium brewed blend of black teas using filtered water. It's like a bunch of vats, and they just dump in like bags of. Sugar. You know, we're in a time of inflation. All these companies are reducing the size of the product you get. They're mm, charging more. Right. One company is doing right by the consumer, and you poo-poo it. What kind of what kind of uh, <laughs> American are you? I I don't know. Arizona cares. Okay. And uh, I care about Arizona. Artificial Arizona inflation is the problem. Amazing. I hate this fucking show. <laughs> Who cares? It's going to get banned in like a week anyway. What, this show? Yeah, you're going to go on Cozy and you're going to say some Nazi stuff. And then, like. What's Nazi stuff about (laughs) that I would possibly say? No, but like somebody's. You're going to be like, oh, and here's my guest, Bobby the Nazi, because it's Cozy. You, you know, mean Andrew Cozy, Anglin? Cozy's biggest. You think yeah. I could have Andrew Anglin on my show? I think all those guys are going to come on your fucking show. I'll be like and a baseball coach for the Nazi baseball team. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Yeah. Someone's yeah, going to yeah. go to YouTube. And then we'll go on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> someone's going to go to YouTube and they're going to go, well, do you know that you're platforming this gentleman who's interacting with you don't think nazi baseball team would be fun who is on code like the harlem globetrotters but it's like the u.s americans versus the the nazis every and it's like be silly fi- yeah. baseball i would be fine with the nazi baseball team that sounds pretty funny <laughs> right everybody likes a heel team and the first baseman when he catches he sig hiles and has a catch right or he catches like like you know with his glove yeah. like that and stuff get you, it you know me i will never turn down more theatrics and sports mm-hmm you know, like the sports uniform problem. They should all have yeah, spikes and eye patches. Like Guar. One guy should have a gun. Okay. She's like, he's the one who just always brings the, a gun to the game. <laughs> gun tricks? <laughs> he gets ejected. You're thinking of like minor league He gets league ejected like once every four games because he just Shooting. shoots a guy who's running the, <laughs> running the That'd bases. be fun. Every time they try to do wrestling and other sports, people just don't like it, though. I was watching, yeah. Well, I was watching American Gladiator clips the other day, and man, what a show. That was a good show. It was so great. Yeah. And the gladiators were, like, mean. Yeah. They are like, dicks. Yeah. Because like, they're oh. on meth. <laughs> a lot of them were, like, yeah, just steroids. steroided out. Yeah, roided yeah. out of their minds. Yeah. And they were, like, knocking cool. the contestants down and going, oh, yeah. Not in my house. You just got hit by ice. And you're, like, oh, those fucking <laughs> gladiators. Yeah. It was great. You had somebody to root for. 
All right. Are you done? That's my other problem is to bring back American Gladiators. No, they, the last time they, they did they Muhammad fucked it Muhammad Ali's up. daughter in there. And Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan is not good. dumb. Yeah, they didn't get it right. Okay. Uh, here's my problem. The, it's, it was either gun control or the myth of American gun violence. What do you think about that? I think <laughs> the how myth. It, how is it a myth? The myth of American gun violence. Yeah, okay. Let the me, myth. The myth. Of American gun violence. <laughs> myth, 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 myth. Of oh. American, 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 American gun violence. I look forward to these stats. <laughs> Let me hear these. Do you stats. need any stats? Yeah, I How do. How much gun actually. violence have you seen in your life? Like none? I've heard. I've Where heard, is it all happening? I've heard Gosh. Some. Look, let me get some binoculars. At, oh, wow. No gun violence happening around here, huh? I always hear about it, but I, must I don't admit, ever seem to I don't, see any I don't of it. Know, I don't know anyone who's. Well, hold on. No, I do know. I knew a guy who got shot. By himself? No. He killed himself? I know a couple guys like that. I think he got shot. I wonder if he just got not. I think he got shot to death. I'm watching that. You see that poor pregnant woman struggling with that bicycle? With those uh, <laughs> gentlemen. Please, please. Okay. And I thought. You're not in cozy mindset yet. Wouldn't it be great if they See, that's just. That's going to be the other problem. You're going to be streaming on cozy and you're like, I can say anything I want. Because you do that on a fucking, uh, what is it, Rakeda's show. I'm going on that show tonight. I heard you dropped an F slur on Rakeda. Well, I think you can do that, though. I've said the F slur before. I think you can say it on YouTube. I say it all the time when I'm not being recorded. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm watching that poor pregnant woman. Yes. Get her bike stolen yes. by those gentlemen. By those. And I thought, gentlemen. wouldn't it be great if they just thought she might have a gun? <laughs> Why? What would happen in that situation? I don't know. Just think. You think they'd freak I'm out? I'm pretty sure they don't think she has a gun. Yeah, that's why wouldn't they're acting great the way if they, they are. just thought she had a gun? I'm at the gas station, and this gentleman comes over to me. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> what? Go ahead. This gentleman comes over to me and he goes, he has his one hand in his pocket. Yeah. I don't know why. In his in his uh in his uh, hoodie pocket. Hoodie pocket. Okay. You know, to put your both hands in. Gripping his Arizona. And he goes, he got any change? I'm like, yeah. no, I don't have any change. I I would give it to you if I had it, but I don't because um this isn't the year 1996. You fucking retard. <laughs> no one uses money or change anymore. Why don't you get a job? Yeah. Simple, polite response. <laughs> normal. While I'm filling up gas. Thing to say. And he stands there staring, staring at me with his hand in his, po- his pocket. I'm like, man, <sighs> I'm pretty sure you got something in there. I'm pretty sure you don't have a hernia, and you're yeah. not Napoleon. So I don't know why you have your hand. Wouldn't it be great if you thought I might have a gun? Yeah, because right then you would now? just walk away and leave me alone. I don't think you'd be acting like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the theory, I suppose. That's the theory. The wouldn't theory it be is, great? wouldn't a society be better if you knew at any moment someone could look at you and kill you? Yeah, like, I don't so know. Would have to be a little this bit. I might have a gun. Yeah. I'm not gonna be fucking fiddling around with my belly button and my shirt. Yeah. Um. Okay. Here's the reality of gun violence. So every time I say anything like, "Well, yeah, don't go after guns. We need those," because uh, these these gentlemen are acting. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lots of people. Are. Mostly men. Mostly men. Mostly gentlemen. Sure, men. Are acting fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, here's the truth Here's the truth about uh, uh, gun violence, okay? Uh, half of the deaths of gun violence in America are in 127 cities. Does that seem a little... Does that seem like you were thinking about in those terms or not? It's a big country. Well, 127 cities is a lot of cities. That's it's a lot, a lot of cities? Of, okay. What, what percent of the population of those cities represent? Well, why does that matter? Well, because we're the most people. <laughs> what do you mean? Why if, does that matter? Those, I really want to know. If those 127 cities contain half the population, then it would make sense. Uh, okay. Um, here, let me let me go through the cities for you that have all the that you have said, all the gun violence. You said half the gun violence occurs in, in 127 cities. cities. America's a big place. I don't think half our population is in 127 cities. cities. Uh, here, let me. Just, I don't know. Let me, okay, let's just try. Let's try this one. All right. Uh, this is one of the, one of the cities at the top is uh, Baltimore. Yeah, that was surprising to me. I didn't realize that. Somebody told me that recently. Now that Baltimore is the most dangerous city. I'm gonna say that's the myth of American gun violence because I learned that and I said, yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. 
Baltimore, yeah, that would have been in my I top. I thought Detroit would have been worse, but I guess Detroit's only third. Well, Detroit's a close third. A very close Very third. close third. We're looking at one, one, one bad weekend probably away mm. from being number one. Mm. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. I think there's also more people in Baltimore, right? Uh, potentially Kansas City, Cincinnati. Where's Oakland? Where's uh? Why do you ask Oakland? What would make you ask about? Because <laughs> I lived in Oakland. And it's, it's about fifteenth fucking down. shit hole. It's Jesus about fifteenth on this list. Yeah, that's uh, having lived in lived in one of these high crime cities. Uh huh. They're the. It's it's like why does anyone live here? There's no. It's <laughs> it's an excellent question. I, have I told my Oakland story? Where um, what is it? Oakland's on the border with Emeryville, and Emeryville is where, like, Pixar is for some reason because it's a little bit cheaper than being in San Francisco. They're like, oh, we'll be in Emeryville. We're going to transform it into a vibrant, colorful neighborhood by virtue of us being here. Yeah. And there was some guy painting a peace mural, literally painting a peace mural in Emeryville. Yeah. And some dude rolled up and shot him to death and stole (laughs) his paints and shit. And I was like, that's like the perfect definition of Emeryville is some hippie going, we can all get together, every brother in the, oh, God, ah! And then just getting shot to death by some gangbanger asshole. It is. <laughs> and the response is, well, we got to do something about all this gun violence in America. <laughs> yeah. And the only correct response is, well, there's not really all this gun violence in America. It's kind of just these cities for some reason. Right. So why don't you guys do something about it and leave everyone it's else alone? Problem. Sounds like a city problem. You know, that's that's a good point. Is it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That if you're living in a rural area, maybe you do have a better right to have a gun. And if you're some inner city fuckoid. Well, wait a minute. You have a right. Yeah. <laughs> you have unlimited rights to, well, for all firearms. Well, this, is the, this is the issue. Well. This is the issue. If you just take these cities where gentlemen are shooting each other for some reason, I don't know, and mm. take them out of these stats... And then just have all of rural America and everything that's not these 127 cities or these 20 cities. Like, look at how fast it drops off. Look at this. Yeah, but New this York, is Baltimore. New York is so heavily populated. But look, it's at, it's down there. But it's uh, only like double London. Like the gun yeah. crime in or the homicide rate in New York is only like double London. So what? But they have London has a fucking problem too. Well, I guess I don't. They know. got all kinds of gun control over there. Yeah. You can't even you can't even have a fucking kitchen knife without a license, right? <laughs> so if all of these, if it's just this, if it's just this chart those, that is causing all of these problems, I'm gonna say it's a fucking myth. Yeah. If all I have to do to avoid gun violence Maybe in America, nuke those cities off the map. I wasn't gonna say nuke, but I'm <laughs> for it. <laughs> <laughs> is not go to these cities. Yeah, that's, uh, as long as it's localized. Uh, San Diego, That's you wouldn't consider that a gun violence ridden no, place, right. would you? No, and sounds... here it is in the top 20. Yeah. So where is the fucking gun violence? You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe just stay away from these horrible, horrible places. Just don't go to fancy. Uh, don't go to Oakland. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Don't go to. Don't go to Las Vegas. Well, I want to go to Vegas. You just got to stay away. Stay inside. Stay on, stay on inside. Stay on the Strip. Yeah. Or Fremont Street. Fremont Street's pretty great. Don't go to Terrible's Casino. Yeah. Philadelphia. I've been meaning to go to Vegas again. You want to go to Vegas anytime soon? Not soon, no. Yeah. I was trying to get a buddy to go. Um, why? Play. You feel like you feel like going to Vegas? I got a buddy. He collects games, same as me, so we'd hit up all the game stores. So here's something even funnier. Um, let's see here. In Oakland, analysts found that networks of just 1,000 to 1,200 high-risk people cause 60% of the city's murders. Yeah. So 1,000 people in, in the some city. some weird circle of weirdos. Cause it's like how they just found out in New York, isn't it like 30 people caused like every half, shoplifting? Yeah, two-thirds half, of two-thirds the shoplifting. Of shoplifting. And you're like, we'll, we'll just kill them. Yeah. <laughs> or just lock them up for a longer period of time. Nice. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever you want. Or ship them to Australia like we used to do. Put a Trump hat on them. Fucking shoot them. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying about the myth of it's like wow, there's so much yeah. gun violence. It's like well, you got a th- one literally, you got one thousand people causing more than half of it. So um, 
Lock them all up. Pay them to stop doing it. Pay the, well, Just that's give them a million dollars a piece. To stop killing people. To stop shooting people. And if they run out of money, give them more money. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't well, they're, make this like a whole they're political in Oakland, thing. So doesn't that mean they're going to get $2 million in the next like year or so? Along no, with Gavin every other Newsom, black person? Gavin Newsom said the most presidential shit I have ever heard in my life. Wait, did Gavin Newsom really comment on the reparations Gavin shit? Newsom said, I'm not approving this because reparations is about more than money. And I said, <laughs> I said that. <laughs> that is bold. That's right, that black people. Bold. That's right. <laughs> Reparations <laughs> is about more than money. That's true. That's true. We can't even put a price tag even, on your we suffering. We couldn't even possibly, to, honestly, to calculate the amount of money you're owed would be a disservice be a, to you. Would be insulting. <laughs> if we had offer, if we offered you, you guys are saying we're not offering enough. You're, you're right. right. And that's a shame. And that's a shame because it's about more than money. And we it, don't want to insult you with. I'm gonna think about when he's president <laughs> and like after after after, after the Biden, next Biden. Yeah. yeah, when he's president, I'm gonna think about that every fucking day. Oh man, that was the funniest <laughs> fucking thing I have, have ever heard. Reparations with his are, hair and shit. Uh, about more than reparations. About more than money. <laughs> Gavin Newsom really stepped into the the fucking reparations thing. I mean, well, he had to. Well, they were just fucking around. They weren't actually going to give it to him, were they? Yes. What do you San mean? San Francisco was going to give her. I have no idea. What are you talking about? They get, they get money all the time. They get yeah. more than that. All right. I got to look this up. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. In New Reparations Orleans. Reparations retardation voted uh, down, I guess. That problem has been solved by, by Gavin, Gavin Newsom. Newsom. The most based. Remember Gavin Newsom when he locked us all down in our yeah. homes? He was he out like living that. it up, partying. Yeah, That's awesome. He was. That's based. He was I wish I could lock parties. everyone in their fucking homes, <laughs> and then I could just go around on the street like Cartman. <laughs> yeah, drinking. Yeah. We couldn't possibly calculate. You know how a number. funny that would feel to let uh, let the reparations committee go on for like. <laughs> Six months, like nickel and diming, and figuring out, yeah. like, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this. Someone called well, me then. Word on the thing. Yeah. yeah, okay. There's the figure, two point three million, and then you give it to him, and you have like, you're you are fucking dumb enough to think that you're gonna get all this money. He's like, you know what? It's not, it's a, not, it's not enough. enough. And actually, we don't have enough. Yeah, it's and if the, we you can't, can't put a price tag on it. If we can't pay you what you want, it would be an insult to give you anything. You know. <laughs> Here you go. Oh! It's not enough. You deserve more than this. <laughs> you deserve more than this. Then give it to us. I just, I can't. We're I would, but it would be insulting for yeah. you. This is about more than money. It's about more guys. than money. You all agree with that, you right? You all agree that it's more you than money. You all agree. <laughs> it's not just about the money, right? <laughs> Our black people, do you, think, do you think any, oh, I, I want to say like every black person knew they weren't going to get the money, but I think some of them really thought. You mean more money? Yeah, I think all, I think some of them really thought, oh, we got Whitey this time. We got this one all locked up. Oh, they'll get something. Uh, yeah, we'll give them a. We'll, give well them they'll a, give them a, some sort of a prize. They'll come up with some little like program. <laughs> um, in New Orleans, just six hundred people were involved in more than fifty percent of the fatalities. Wow. Less than 1% of the, of the city's population were involved in 50% of... So all this shit is just a couple people that we refuse to arrest and put in jail. Yeah. That's the... that's the, the American gun violence, not only is it these 20 cities, but it's also, like, well, is it like fucking 2,000 like, guys that we could just kill yeah. and not have to have this dumb conversation anymore. But is it like they're dr drug runners or, like, organized crime, like... Yeah. Guys, and they're telling their guys to run around, and sure. those guys are all idiots, and they kill people. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Fascinating. The myth of American gun violence. And then half... It's always, you know, half the half the statistics are suicides. Yeah. Which, it's... Why is that even on there at all? It's big gun. If anything, gun. that's one of the pluses of gun violence is... Mm -hmm. Get out of here quick. Yeah. That's what I always say. <laughs> Plus, I just like the mouthfeel of a gun, Dick, you know, when you're feeling it out. Anyway, don't forget to back Super Killer, now available on Indiegogo. It's going all right. It's kind of hit like a little plateau, but I think it'll pick back up. How are you going to promote it? 
Um, just making like YouTube videos, hoping that people watch them, and then afterwards go check it out. You gotta do stunts. Yeah. Dress up like super killer and like beat, no, kill a subway no. person. <laughs> kill a. Dress up like super killer and yeah. then choke a guy out on the subway. And I then do a, like a fake news thing of it. There's so much. There's so many ways to promote. You have to do it though. I'm overwhelmed. I can't do anything. I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Everything's a nightmare right now. Okay. No, it's going to be great. I don't know what I'm doing. How'd anymore. you get this depressed again <laughs> after you? It's like you did this comic and you got so much money and now you're depressed again and they've destroyed my YouTube channel and yeah. I literally don't care. All right, I you're just right. I That's, seriously don't. I I as I'm happy that you're not depressed because I was wor I felt bad for you and I don't like it. I just don't like this 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 world this thing we're living in. I'll just make this my problem. Whatever. Fuck okay. It. Well, you didn't have another uh, problem? Well, I had another one. You're just making this. Okay. I'm making this. Okay, do it. I'm trying to think what it is. Well, explain it. <laughs> Not enough super chats? Getting super chats Not in too late? Is that the problem? That's a problem. It's, uh... How do I explain this? I don't like what I've become. <laughs> Let's just do a different one. What have you? What have you become? <laughs> I don't know. Like I wanted to just. Is this like uh, Conrad, the heart I'll of darkness? This, right, I'll say this problem. I don't think I've, I've ever done this Kurtz? problem. Yeah. Is this whole uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you? What's that thing? That term they use when you have these rela parasocial relationships? Okay. Okay, that's the problem. Okay. So the problem is, like, right now there are people who are listening to the show, right? And listen to your show or watch my channel, mm -hmm. you know? And I, there's channels that I do this with that I watch them all the time. And I go, hey, I like those guys. And then you watch them long enough and you start, you know, you see them all the time and you hear them all the time and you go, I kind of feel like I have a connection with these guys, <laughs> even though they have no idea that I exist. Well, you do. And I've, well, yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, you know? I mean, I'm always weird because I watch, like, creators who are, like, cool. And I'm like, oh, this guy's cool. And then I, my instinct is I always go, that guy would fucking hate me if I ever met him. I think that about so many guys. <laughs> I go, I really like this guy's content, and he's really cool, and he's interesting. And if he ever met me, he would think I'm the biggest piece of shit Why that ever lived. That? I don't know. I just... <laughs> <laughs> like, who? Who? Uh, there's this guy, Comic Tropes, who makes cool uh, videos about comic books. Okay. Uh, that guy would hate me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really Comic like tropes. I really like Red Letter Media. And you think they would hate you? I think. I think. Why? I think me and Mike, we might be like, it'd be like, okay. <laughs> I think I could win Mike over. <laughs> I think. <Jay> <laughs> I think Jay would absolutely I'm looking up Comic Tropes. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Chris from Comic Tropes. Comic Tropes, if you don't know, is a channel that analyzes comic book history and techniques. And now I've got a Why new... Why would this guy hate you? I don't know. Way, he seems uh, like a fucking doofus just like you. Channel. Fucking this comics, This is YouTube blah, blah. memberships. If you click the join button know. below, <laughs> obviously that helps <laughs> me. Why do you think he would hate you? <laughs> is, he, is he out there? He's got less subscribers than you. Yeah. You would kiss your ass. No, no. I don't think so. I think, I don't know. I always get this feeling that, like, I don't know what the, this might be a whole different problem. It's just <laughs> like, don't, don't play it. <laughs> what you're describing is not a, a parasocial relationship. Yeah, it's, a, I don't know it's what It's a it weird is. stalker thing that you're doing with this guy from comic <laughs> shows, like Chase, Hut like Mac and Chase Hutley from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Or uh, I would listen to the Pat, the NES Punk podcast. That guy would absolutely hate me. And Ian, Ian did fight with me on Twitter one time. He was mad that I was defending uh, Justin Ryland. And he said Justin Ryland's a pedophile. So I, 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 I at least confirmed one of these guys. <laughs> Would hate me. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but I think other... You on Twitter is not the best <laughs> you. No, that's true. That's a whole other problem. I think the problem, though, is like me as a creator... I was talking to uh, Ethan Van Shiver about this yeah. after he called in. I was like, yeah, we. he's like, Vito's got to, you know, start, uh, build, start building bridges out there to get his comic going. I said, yeah. No. Oh, well, I already oh. fucked that up. <laughs> I already fucked that up. Uh, 
and it, yeah, Ethan sent me a message about why I can't be on his show, and that's fine. Why? Because I keep fighting with Eric July because <laughs> I got baited into it again. Just apologize. All right, I apologize. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to. Uh, I guess the point I was trying to make is that I just want to like. I don't know how to do this thing where like. I want to be honest with my content, you know. I don't want to be in like entertainer doofus mode. Uh huh. And I don't want people, you know, I don't want to be like, hey, I'm secretly your friend. I'm secretly your dad. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm your best friend and give me money because I'm going to like elevate you and we're all in this together and whatever else. And then like, but part of me is like, yeah, but you got to like, there is some of that. Like, I do appreciate the audience. Uh huh. You know, and I'm like, I'm like eternally grateful that they're helping me out. I just worry I can't give enough or that it's going to be fake. Uh huh. You know, that like the relationship we're forming, where like a guy sends me a message, he's like, hey, you know, your comic is great. You know, I'm so excited. And, I, and then like I'm guys like, guys are sending you like one off messages and you're having like a full blown <laughs> existential crisis over it. Yeah, kind of. Um, some guy uh, messaged me on Patreon and he said, Hey, why'd you block me on Twitter? I've supported you for seven years. Yeah, they always message um, me when you do that. Uh, I've supported you for seven years. Don't you think blocking is like a bitch? Uh, uh, I've always thought you kind of would think that blocking is like a bitch move. And I said, fuck you. Don't ever tell me. <laughs> don't ever tell me how to behave. And he goes, okay, sorry. Uh, I was like, okay, so what's your name? I'll unblock you. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It's, uh. You were saying you couldn't live up to their expectations. Yeah, I think someday. that's it. I think that's it. Is that, or that I, I like worry that they're. <laughs> you comic guys. <laughs> Ethan Van Cyber's fucking writing us out of, writing an epic like of Gilgamesh. Yeah. And you're breaking down over a thirty thirty five thousand dollar comic. I'm not breaking down. It's that I don't know if people, I want people to get like the honest me, you know? I don't want to be fake because there's like so many of these like guys who are just out there and they're like, I'm your dad. I'm your brother. Right. You know, I'm going to teach you how to be a real man or whatever the fuck else. Yeah. And it's sick. Yeah. Like Andrew Tate. Yeah. Yeah. But then I worry that I'm like, well, like, am I doing that subconsciously? Like, right. do I have to do that? And then you start kind of doing that as you start, like, being like, hey, I am your buddy. I am your friend. You know, come celebrate me or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> come celebrate me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that like, like a birthday, though? It feels but you do that. You literally do that to your real in-life friends. Hey, come celebrate me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, man. You, don't, you just don't want to go too far with it. Yeah. Do you think maybe that... Uh, uh, guys like Andrew Tate and like Eric July, like they really are being genuine and that's just who they are. See, that's what I don't understand. And maybe that's why I get so upset with like Eric July is this whole like, we're going to win. You guys are all part yeah. of this thing I'm building. This is our company. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, where with me, I'm like, this is my comic. I made it. Like, I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're not like really a part. I don't know. <laughs> but you are, you know, because that's a shitty fucking thing to say. Yeah, but you made all like, those lunch make, boxes and stuff you guys for are, people like yeah. you, even though it's a dumb idea. <laughs> I guess the whole thing of like crowdfunding is like the constant messaging of like, this is our journey. We're in it together. Kickstarter should put this in their testimonials of you having a fucking meltdown. Look at some of our successful creators like Dean and just wealthy. Yeah, I just don't know if I could, if I could, I mean, I do, I don't want you to think that I represent you, but I do really feel like you're my friends and I appreciate it. <laughs> You gotta fucking get a grip. <laughs> You're like melting down over this comic. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I thought Ralph's meltdown was bad. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. <laughs> uh, you'll be okay. <laughs> You want to take a break? Dude, <laughs> yeah, give, me, give me a minute. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Get a beer! Uh, all right, we're. I need one of those technical difficulties. <laughs> we're experiencing. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Simpsons. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, uh, uh. And downloads. Do do do. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, downloads. There we go. And oh, 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 there it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and there. And there we go. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, we'll be right back. Everyone. Hey, there, there, yeah, there. Okay. Back. Good. <laughs> okay, so the moral of the story is Vito needs to sleep before we do a show <laughs> and not not uh, get two hours of sleep. Okay. And then just come in all fucked and upset. Don't uh, worry. I'm the comic really, will be good. Your comic will not everyone just that. I'm it. really mad that your channel got banned. Well. I'm mad that Mr. Girl's channel got banned. I'm mad... That were just like slaves to these fucking yeah. tech companies. Yeah. And I you feel like just powerless and it's fucked. Yeah. Know? Um everyone in my family's lives have been destroyed by communism going all the way back to like my mom's dad. Yeah. So I'm kinda used to it. Um it's a it's a eternal fight. 
for. That's what your comics are about, you know? Yeah. But it's real. It just really, I don't know. It really bothers me. I just want everyone to, like, I don't know. This whole week I've just been, like, uh, upset about that. It will never get easy to fight these people, no. but it has to be done. Uh, there is no living not, there is no living without struggle and sacrifice for us, and there never will be. Yeah. At least we're still doing the show. I'm sorry I'm being weird. It's been a weird week. It will I'm be very, okay. I it know, will be okay because we have friends who will help us and an audience who will support us. It doesn't yes. matter how many platforms I get kicked off of. People will follow me. Yeah. Not as not all of them, but a lot of them will follow. I'm just like constantly stressed and out. And you, they will follow you. It doesn't yeah. it's okay. It's, Every, like, it's like when my Twitter got banned, like I catastrophize. I'm like, it's all over, you know? And I'm glad we're still here doing this show. Uh and hopefully I haven't fucked everything up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every uh, yeah, that'll it'll be oh, th people will go that episode where Vito had a meltdown and <laughs> cried, just terrible. That wasn't entertaining at all. <laughs> I fast forwarded that part. Mm, just bad, no. bad radio. That's what they'll say. I think everything's gonna be okay. I just. It's hard to be earnest, you know? I'm <laughs> not in! Obviously not! <laughs> <laughs> most people, most broadcasters would trade, would sell their souls for a moment of earnesty like that. That they cannot, that they cannot do on air. Because they don't understand what they're doing. Yeah. I'm so happy to be doing this show. <laughs> and I gotta stop because it's just getting worse. <laughs> Are you going through menopause? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your problem, parasocial yeah, relationships. That's the problem. Okay, my problem is uh, having to get out of the shower to get stuff. I hate that. It's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. Like soap ever. and shampoo and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right you yell at your you. girlfriend like, "Hey, can you get me some soap?" But they like to pretend that I'll just yell. Oh, I can't hear you. You ever have to like, shit yeah, in the no shower, and then you got to get out of the shower to take a shit? A classic. That's a classic. That's gotta a good get bathroom out of the, problem. Got to get out of the shower to take a shit. Got to get. Oh fuck! I forgot my masturbating lotion. I don't <laughs> want to jack off with soap. Get a bunch of burns on my dick. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Why does why does certain soap like if you jerk off with it, it hurts? <laughs> what is that? It's the cuts on your penis. <laughs> yeah, but there shouldn't be any cuts on my penis. Well, there your cats are getting I have, revenge. I have found a lotion that seems to be fine. Yeah, yeah. Is it very it's, scented? It's like a it's like a peach or an orange. A peach. Yeah, that's good for a penis lotion. It's pretty good. <laughs> I did, did I tell you about the Target Stroker? <laughs> You know, this is, not, this is not a good ad for no. the Target Stroker. I want, <laughs> I want to be, I want to have tears streaming down my face as I talk about the Target Stroker. <laughs> I think that's what the audience wants. Uh, <laughs> it's like 20 bucks. It's pretty good. It's like this weird blue thing. I saw, oh, yeah? I saw conservatives are like mad that Target sells it. Sells jack off machines. Yeah, well, it's not a machine. It's just like a, it's like a, like a wacky. You know those like tubes. It's just so like a all tube of Target only exists for jack off machines. So <laughs> yeah. why wouldn't they sell them too? Uh, Get it? Women. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right out there. Yeah, I hate when you got to get out of the shower to get stuff. But luckily, I have the stroker in there. <laughs> <laughs> nobody comes over. Nobody knows. I don't oh. use it all the time. Sometimes though, yeah. But I'm. Are you like this? Where like when you come, you don't want anything near your dick. Uh, what do you mean near? Like, like, do you come inside the woman? Yes. Yeah. I come inside the woman. Normally, I want to like pull out because I'm like having like the sensation of something around my penis as I'm ejaculating. Oh, it hurts. 
It's like a little. It's like a little too much sensation. Yeah, you got to power through that. And sometimes they fuck with you about it too. Like, arr, arr, and I'm like, all right, all right, all right. They're one like more, and I'm gonna out. fucking hammer squeezing you. It out of you. You ruined it. Thanks. You did all that work for nothing. You fucked up again. <laughs> I also, you know, I famously hate cum. So anytime I got to immediately. Yeah, you you famously do hate cum. <laughs> <laughs> so when I were, I you know have sex, I immediately have to go wash my dick off. Mm-hmm. Cause it's got cum on it. It's yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, Getting stuff out of the shower. Get water everywhere. We're back on track, folks. <laughs> We're back on track. Everything's great. Having to get out of the shower to get stuff. Okay, so those are our problems. <laughs> Parasocial relationships. This is the best or the worst episode ever. Oh, it's definitely the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're <laughs> doubting that. Remember that episode Vito did? Wasn't that the one right before he killed all those people? Yeah, that one. <laughs> right before he climbed that clock tower because a tumor was pressing against his brain. I don't think you could hit to... shit. Have you, how, much, how many times have you shot a rifle? I've never shot a rifle. You're not going to hit a god. You can stay up in the clock I've tower all day. Call of Duty so often. <laughs> yeah. I'll figure it out. Iron sights. Um, Every time I go to Vegas, I say I'm going to go to a shooting range, and I never do. Well, you you don't have to go to a Vegas, Vegas to go to a shooting range. You can go to Corona. How, right far, down, how uh, far is that? Uh, an hour. Yeah. Take anything we want out there. We can go up to Mojave. Just shoot. <laughs> What do you like, want to shoot machine guns? Like that little girl who accidentally shoots the shooting instructor. What is that? <laughs> there was a little girl who was like four. I think it was like fourteen, and they gave her an Uzi, and she went whoops, and immediately like shot. That's the- definitely their fault. <laughs> they should not be giving an Uzi to a little girl. <laughs> she shot the shooting instructor right in the head, and I, I always think about. It, I'm like, she's just got to live with that forever. <laughs> Just like people in there, whoops. <laughs> like my buddy, my longtime friend from high school, showed his kids his guns, and he's like, "If you ever don't ever touch these, like if you ever see a gun, find an adult." Like rule number one, yeah. if you ever see it, find an adult. But this is how they work. Always true. And he's like going over like basic gun safety, but then that's great. But the people who are like. Yeah, here's my six-year-old girl with a shotgun. Here's your, like, yeah, man. I don't. I mean, I know it's weird because you're taking pictures of it and sending and putting it on the internet. That's yeah. how I know it's weird. Well, <laughs> parasocial relationships, parasocial and, relationships. And, and Arizona ice. Arizona tea. ice tea. Okay, <laughs> smart adult. And getting having to get out of the shower to get stuff, <laughs> and uh, the myth of American gun violence. Okay, well, let's do some voicemails. <laughs> Go to <laughs> biggestproblem.show to vote oh, on the God. problems and patreoncom slash biggestproblem. Uh, here's one that might cheer <laughs> you up. Play this. It's hey, fuck. Dick. Hey, Vito. Oh, Just fuck. calling in to say, Vito, uh, you're a good guy, and I think the internet treats you unfairly sometimes. What the fuck is this? I'll let you know. You're a pretty cool dude. All right. All right. You. Thank you. What do you think? Is Where it? did that come from? He just sent that in. I don't know. All right. Is that he just sent that in? <laughs> he sent it in. I don't know why he sent that in. What are you asking me for? Is that going to set you off? No, that's not going to set me off. Thank you. Okay, here's another guy. Hey, Rick. Hey, Vinny. Hey. Thanks. You want to know what the biggest problem in the universe is? The fact that Vito has still not appeared on PKA. I don't know who to message about that. An act of God? I mean, you have Father Time, a.k.a. Matthew Woodworth, talking about things like sexcations, managing his fishing take, and flying around in a stupid lawn chair. You've got Kyle, who's a complete degenerate and a felon. Let's not forget that. The day Kyle can own guns again is the day I'll care about what he has to say. And then you have Taylor, a.k.a. Cranium Magnus. You know what? I can't even watch PKA anymore because of his gigantic, disgusting dome. He does it makes me sick to my stomach. Regardless... Let's get Vito on PKA. There's a lot of crossover with PKA for some reason. Because you go on there, I guess, a lot. Yeah, yeah, I like those guys. I always like, go on there and I cause trouble, I guess all the PKA too. guys are watching this show because, like, the PKA boards will be, like, talking about us and whatever. They should do, a, like, a petition to get you on PKA. They should do a petition to get your fucking YouTube on band. We gotta, there's got to be somebody at these companies. Why? Who cares? I don't know because it's fucked. Who Fuck it. it. I don't make any money off that shit. Yeah, that's fair. 
I don't fucking care. But there's like some, ex- you know, and I'm also mad that Mr. Girl's still banned from YouTube, but that's a whole different thing. I Whatever, don't. man, that's what happens. Ralph got fucked harder than anyone. Ralph did his- get Ralph fucked. got fucked harder than Ralph, anyone like, in the history of YouTube. And the worst part and is- he's still swinging. Yeah. And he's doing great. Yeah, but like he should be on, they banned him for the stupidest shit. Because about Sam people- Hyde? He should be on like- Sam Hyde should he have He should be hosting movie. SNL. Yes. That's just not the way it works. Yes, and I, all the worst people, you know what, the reason I was like, I'll do this writer's strike thing, and I started like looking at all the people complaining about the writer's strike, and they're like the worst fucking people. Like yeah. all the ones, all the WGA writers, yeah. they're like, I wrote this show, and they don't even, blah, and I'm like, <sighs> like I support that you want to get paid more money, but also you specifically don't deserve it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I get it. I get it. All these writers in Hollywood are fucking terrible. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe we can have, uh, this one. Sam Hyde's recording, like, a new, uh, show, though, right? He's recording, like, yeah. a new season. Yeah, too. It's great. Good. Good. But he should be fucking hosting late night. I smoking think- cig- Smoking five cigarettes at a time on late night. Shooting guns on television. I want there to- Calling be- women fat. Yes. I don't know what we do. I feel like, like, there's gotta be a way- to like unite the cult. Co- unite the right? Is that they yeah, tried well, that? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> a fat woman got Not killed. Not the right specifically. <laughs> you saw like Vice mag. You saw Vice is going out of business. Yeah. Did you ever read like the original Vice magazine? No. It was great. Yeah. It was fucking incredible. And even Vice when they first started off. It was, like, cool and subversive and weird and interesting. Yeah, okay. And then it got taken over by, like, a bunch of loser idiots. Like, I went I went on the Vice website, and it's like, here's the top ten sex toys for trans, masculine, whatever the fuck. I'm like, who, who's going to read this? There's the, that appeals to, like, two people. <clears throat> or it's yeah. like, here's why that subway shooting is the most, or the subway strangling uh, proves that America hates homeless people. And I'm like, what happened to, like, the fun? Uh, we don't need proof of that. We, I wish they were all dead. Yeah, I would I ha- I'd kill all of them people. myself. If I could just, <laughs> you guys just give me the go-ahead, I would personally Maybe some kill of them are cool. Every, most uh, of them I don't care. Suck. I would just do it for you as a service, as a psychopath, to build up our brand, yeah. and let you guys all know that you need us and you couldn't survive a day without us and i look at like gavin mcginnis who i know you like you but i think gavin went crazy because they yeah they I de- like him well they deplat him formed him from everything he yeah was running his own ad agency and uh he he, he got forced to close it because he wrote some article back when you couldn't say anything about trans people saying hey all these trans surgeries are weird and fucked and like you know there's some whatever the fuck either yeah. way it was all offensive and crazy so it feels like there's an alternate universe where, like, all that stuff just, like, we didn't have all this cancel culture bullshit. Yeah. We just kept having fun, and culture didn't completely suck the way it sucks now. Yeah. And it also, all the people, some of the people, again, like Gavin, went fucking crazy, and now they do kind of suck, because I'm like... They're just old. Well, they're old, yeah, you but, like... You get unplugged from the pop culture, you just, like, wither and die, and become well, this, like, approximation like, of like, what you were... Way more extreme in your views. You have to, to survive. Yeah, to get attention and whatever else. To get money. Well, that was what I was trying to tell some of these guys about Ethan Van, Van Skyver. They're like, oh, he's evil, he's a bigot, he's the, he's the scum of the earth. And I go, <laughs> he's a guy that pretty much lost his job because he was like, you know, a Trump-supporting Mormon. Like, what is he going to do? Not he's be- Mormon? I'm pretty sure he's Mormon, so he has like oh. very like obvious like conservative beliefs and religious beliefs about certain shit. And he lost his job because of it. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, so he ends up in a space on the internet where he says, like, super inflammatory shit. Yeah. You know, to get views and clicks and get people excited. But I was trying to be mm-hmm. like, I don't think he's, like, legitimately, like, like a crazy bigot. I think he's just, again, one of these guys who's like, well, I lost my fucking job, so I might as well have fun with it. I don't know. No, that's kind of, re- I mean, anyone who's a Mormon is going to have beliefs that are, like, that are bigoted. Yeah. And that's fine. Right. Like, you can be... Uh, you can be the most racist person ever as long as you, like, abide by... The decorum the, the amen- of society. The amendments. Yeah, the like, amendments. The, the First Amendment. Like, don't do all these things. Like, the Third Reich... The Fourth Reich can't happen if the government just always obeys the cons- the Bill of Rights. I just think this whole thing that, like, again, like, a guy like Ralph or whatever else, or, I don't know, anybody, Kevin, is, like, by taking away people's platforms... 
You're radicalizing them. You're radicalizing yeah. them. Yeah. Whereas it could have just been like, yeah, he's a little out there, whatever. It's like, yeah. But, not like I don't think Ralph ever wanted to like kill anybody. You know, these guys Ralph voted wrong. for Obama. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but then they just we were just pushing people away from the mainstream. And then you end up and you got a live stream with Nick Fuentes, which is fine. <laughs> and maybe Nick would even be a more normal guy if no, he wasn't banned from fucking everything. You no, know, Nick is pure. Maybe even Alex Jones, if he wasn't banned from everything, would be a little more. Uh, he doesn't think Sandy Hook was fake. Right. <laughs> he's no, like, he's, yeah, whoops, sorry. I didn't know that you could just he not even challenged say whatever QAnon. you want. He said QAnon is, you know, not real or whatever else on his show. So, And no, none of us even care about that. Like the people who love Alex Jones, we don't care about Sandy Hook. Right. I want there to be a space, and there isn't one. And, like, people are trying to build one, but they all suck. Rumble kind of sucks. Rumble beyond sucks. Yeah. It's untenable. Yeah, there's no way to make it happen. There's no way that it will. There's and no way all for their it money to survive. It's Steven Crowder, which makes no sense to me. Well, like, that's money you could have spent on servers. <laughs> Just on bandwidth. build your fucking ad platform, <laughs> man. You can't sell gold on uh, you can't sell gold all the time. How many gold <laughs> ads do you see on Google? None. They're all dude. That's the uh, yeah. It's all. You gold can't ads. sell CBD <laughs> and gold and survive. But the Nasdaq will crush you anyway. They can just determine it, and then it'll, it it will be illegal for Rumble to say no to any Nasdaq demands because it will destroy their shareholder, their their uh, stock price. I'm, like, worried that we are getting to a point where, like, you're just not going to be able to. There will be no culture because, like, it'll, it's all going to be controlled by, like, Google and Apple and whatever else. Yeah. And the robot doesn't understand satire and yeah. it doesn't understand any nuance. Right. So she's going to be like, oh, you're joking about school shootings. That means you're endorsing school shootings and therefore you're banned. You know, the robot works. It's the fat woman. That canceled that, my account that yeah. doesn't work. The that robot said the robot. you're fine. The Indians said I'm fine. It's the fat woman who got the final say that said, nah, fuck you. It's the women. Yeah. Well, that is also the problem is that like there's like all these companies have been taken over by these fucking activists mm -hmm. who get in there and they're like, we're just going to make it a little more diverse and a little more inclusive. And the next thing you know, they're like, oh, also, uh, we want to ban Dave Chappelle from our network. And you're like, no. Mm -hmm. We want to ban Joe Rogan from Spotify. Yeah. And like, thankfully, some of the, uh, those guys make enough money where thankfully the guys at the top are like, well, we're not going to do that. We're going to do that. But we can ban Dick Masterson if that'll make you a little bit happy. That's fine. And okay. that's what they're doing. And it drives me nuts. <sighs> well, whatever. You got to go to the blockchain, man. Different. We're you, all. You, you remember what it was like when we went from web one to web two? Yeah. We're doing it again. All right. I, I do need to make a back buy. Account. So go to back buy, make a back buy. I'm going to make a back buy. Is there still a fake veto on back buy? I'll delete them. <laughs> can you do that? No, I can't delete. I can never delete your. We what? can never delete your subscriptions yeah. and your audience connection. Uh, the back dot buy slash name. You own the URL. That is a that is a domain name. Yeah. So that is a that is a thing that exists in Web two. Like the government could take that, but the financial relationships that exist between you and your you and your yeah. people, we can never take that. No one can ever take that. So you could just make like uh, if the government comes in and says we're taking back buy. Whoop! You can go make. Well, okay, this is like you have contracts set up. Yeah. set up. Slitter setup. Dot back by, and it will all just keep going. Like I normal. wish more people would take it seriously. The thing you're doing. It sounds like you have some guy coming on your show, some gun guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I got a five year plan. I understand the the uh, rules of engagement. We're I gonna, don't, and that's why I'm terrified all the time. Yeah, because you you're like. Uh, we all should get along and just like, <laughs> yeah, we all we, we work work best if we're like compet like we're all just like uh, uh, cooperating. Uh, I will kill. Uh, I, I, I the only way to stop tyrants is to kill them. Yeah, and nothing else will do. So that's the <laughs> that's the situation we're in, and they're gonna try to kill you first. All right, let's do super chats. What yes. Do you think? <clears throat> Studio. Get your super chats in. Make fun of Vito for <laughs> crying. <laughs> oh, God. Someone's going to clip all this shit. 
<laughs> Clip it, it's the whole episode. I really need to get more than two hours of sleep before I come <laughs> into this show. <laughs> The worst part is I sent you a text. I'm like, ah, I feel kind of weird today. I don't know. Maybe maybe we should do the show tomorrow. No, I can't. I have to go to the fair tomorrow All to right. see if I won the mosaic. You got to go to the fair. What kind of fair do you have the to LA go to? <laughs> is it yeah. a bee fair? A <laughs> Are there bees there? <laughs> <laughs> Happy episode 90, everyone. Oh, God. Uh, At least we only have to do 17 more of these, and then I can quit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jungle Bunny for two, rule no, 30. Koof. Oh, Koof for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. I'm trying my hardest, buddy. Jungle Bunny for two, rule 34, super killer. Wait, what? Do you want me to be rule 34, or you want super killer to be rule 34? Or uh, both of Just us? porn of stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll make that happen. Lemon Sake for two says, with the TDS channel gone, my life has no meaning. I'm right there with you. Sorry. Legacy for two. We want more Sergeant Slaughter. We got to do it. Oh, no, two. we can't do it because Not you got two. fucking copyright struck for playing the clip. The Transformers clip, right? Well, yeah, but that was a clip. It's just because people were mass reporting me. Who? Do you know who? Fat, fat Fucking people. Fucking fat people, man. Yeah. Oh, well, I think there was other people. Yeah, I get it. Jihado bot for 25 says, please finish what you started last week. Called a prayer and denounced of Darth Vader as a whore. Is that what you did last week? No, 25 bucks. Not enough. Not enough. Four on the way. Pop quiz for four ninety nine. Andrew D.I.K. Okay. Should I know what that means? I don't. Brett's man for two. Here's for a kill dozer two bullet. Inshallah, brother. Thank hey, you. We got to build that thing. Enable Diamond for five. Dwab Winkle for 10. Happy to super chat the final episode <laughs> of Biggest Problem on YouTube. Also, insert obscenity here, YouTube. Um, uh, yeah, fuck YouTube. Absolutely. I hate, I'm like mad at YouTube. I'm going to take the, I don't whatever. I'll get into it's it. It's an advertising company. They just exist to like sell horse shit from Hollywood. But again, there was like an exciting period when they were like funding shit and they were funding like Norm McDonald's show. And you thought, oh man, like independent creators, like it's going to happen. And I was just like, no, we can make more money by like promoting Jimmy Fallon and fucking carpool nah, karaoke. Man, I don't know. Like me just like I, me existing is illegal. Yeah. Like all the stuff I like, I can't fuck cocaine is illegal. Fuck it. Everything like I want to do when I wake up and just exist is just illegal. Yeah. So I just never have any kind of conceptions that any, that I'm allowed to do anything. And like all the like forced self censoring that you have to do and like, Oh, you can't say this word or whatever else. I have to do that in real life too, though. Yeah, but not, I don't know, like, why? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but if I'm talking to my audience, I should be able to say whatever the fuck I want. Well, go on back by. You can yeah, do that. All right, I'll go on back by. Uh, Enable Diamond for five says, I'll be supporting the dick show on back by. Thanks. I hate how YouTube censors things. Yes. David Gomez for two. <laughs> Ashley Babbitt noises. <laughs> That's what they did to you. <laughs> Verico for 279. That guy was a thug. That Capitol <laughs> Police guy was a thug. <laughs> Did you hear Trump called him that? Uh, yeah, thug. I did. I did. I did hear that. That's the N word. That People is the, saying that the N word. -word when yeah, you, say you thug. can say that though. Yeah. He was a thug. It's one of the <laughs> acceptable N words. Oh, wow, wow. Verico for two seventy nine Canadians says, "What happened on Alex Stein?" <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Alex just like was like, I don't. It was fun. Yeah, okay. it was fun. We had fun. Did you cry? <laughs> no, I didn't cry. Thankfully. He was just like bringing up tweets. He's like, why'd you say this about Eric July? And then I was like, I didn't really know what to do. So I was just like, I don't know. Maybe I should have been more diplomatic. But I was just like, ah, it's a fun show. So I was like, ah, fuck no, that say, guy. No, no, that no. Say, he can't write. That's what I said. My comic is better than his. If you don't like, if you like his comic better than mine, I'll give you your money back. If you bought an ISOM, <laughs> it sucks. Send me your ISOM. I'll send you a fucking super killer for free. Yeah, I didn't mention that. But I did mention that he can't write. But, you know, his audience likes him, and I don't want to pick a fight. I don't fucking know. Leo for five. Josie Gang. J -j 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 Diamond G for 20. Sixth, sixth. Okay, so apparently I can't say sixth. How are you supposed to say sixth? Sixth. Sixth? Sixth. 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 Was yeah. that good? 
Are you doing it on purpose or not? No, I say sixth. J- January 6th. Is it, what, it's how, not sixth. It's not sixth. It's There's sixth. an X in there. Yeah, but you really got to pronounce that X. Sixth. Yeah. January 6th. What are you, like, black? Like, you got <laughs> to ask you a question? January 6th. Uh, yes. January that's 6th. Better. Yeah. January 6th. No. Sixth. I'm afraid not. That's such a fuck to, to get sixth. an X into a TH is weird for me. Well, don't do it then. All right. Continue. Thank you for the 20. Sounding like whatever that is. Ride Dog for five. The biggest problem in the universe is ransomware. We just had a ransomware attack at work, so I've been dealing with that all day. People still do that? Yeah, it's funny. Interesting. Wet Bandit five. Vito says he supports the WGA, yet he happily took a sponsorship from an AR web, uh, AI art website for his YouTube videos. That was he a did? great plug, by the way. You should watch that plug. What's the plug? It's uh, it's just a stupid AI art app, but I uh, made a really good Where plug for it. Where is it? I go to youtube.com slash Vito. Okay. I do the best sponsored ad reads. Okay. I go to videos, hit videos. Okay. And then click the Jada Smith one. Okay. And then go like a minute 30 in. You'll see when it changes. Fans, she's a weirdo. Well, guys, we're going to talk about all the controversy involved in Jada Pinkett Smith's new documentary series. This? Not really a there? documentary. Yeah, we'll talk the, about that. Yeah. But first, I want to talk about my sponsor for Wait, this video, video? Mm-hmm. Wonder. Now, maybe you're like me Show and you see video. all your friends. Okay, please. Otherwise, they're just hearing it. Okay. This is my sponsor. This is my sponsored ad read for Wonder. Okay playing around with these new AI art apps and you go, oh, I've got crazy ideas in my head. How do I bring them to life? Wonder is the app that's going to make it happen for you. You can see it right here. You just type in this little prompt, tell it whatever you want, and it's going to spit out gorgeous AI generated artwork that will impress your f- <laughs> He typed in beautiful African queen. Well, I had to do that for okay, it gets better though. <laughs> friends and family. Use the link in the description and you'll get anime access. Style. <laughs> Wait a minute, beautiful African queen what? Anime style. Anime style? Yeah, okay. To a free trial of the premium version including over 20 art styles <laughs> the company liked it. <laughs> beautiful African queen, beautiful African queen, anime, anime style. style. Well, it's a video about a Cleopatra. Yeah, if only I had an app where I could fucking do an anime style on a beautiful African queen. Faster generation, unlimited art, better. and best of all, no advertisements. Oh, yeah. Tired of your friends always having the freshest. Oh, did anime? I not? Wait, wait, is that right? beautiful anime women with rabbit ears? Yeah. Anime avatars. Well, now you the fucked up the mix. You've got a beautiful bunny girl to take Oh, I put it in mono. Home. Have you and your partner thought about adopting a child from a Mexico? A adorable Mexican child with a burrito bowl? It's no <laughs> longer, because this brown baby boy oh, belongs Jesus. to you. And if your boss is on your back about finishing oh, the big project, it up. You fucked it up. I know you're entertaining your Japanese host family, and it's pizza. So once again, use... Dude, it was definitely... <laughs> it was definitely stereo when I listened to it. It must know. be my fault. Uh, That's pizza a, night with a zoom in on a night. little <laughs> Japanese, Japanese girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, I did a great ad read, but now I realize I fucked up the audio and I feel like an idiot. Nah, it's funnier though, because people are like, ooh, I gotta pay attention. It sounds fucked up. Nobody mentioned that. That's weird. They probably thought you did it on purpose. Anyway, that the was. The link into my description. You're gonna get a free it? trial yeah, so. of the premium download, version of the app. It's gonna let you play around and make matter. your imagination come. You always do all these like double ads on this show. Because I do a great ad read. Look we got to get ad, we got to get ad reads on this show. Okay. I nail it every time. <laughs> you can do it while you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. This is the worst. I <laughs> know it's going to be great. Uh, All right. <laughs> where was it? Um Oh my god. A lot of fucking comments here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, guys. There we go. Oh, there okay. we go. Okay. Six okay, so that was Wet Bandit. Way. Wet Bandit 5. Also, Mumkey and Eggie were talking about boxing yesterday. Eggie says he's down to box Vito. Do I know Eggie? <laughs> you do not want to fight Eggie. Okay. Eggie is would he, fucking destroy you. Is he a big guy? Uh, Eggie has Eggie has more uh, power in him than, than probably 10 men. Okay. He's a rapper. Egg White? You so don't know who Egg White no, is? I, I don't watch Mumkey's list. I, I know Mumkey. I think I've seen Mumkey. You know Mumkey once. Johns? Yeah, Mumkey, I think I've only ever seen Mumkey him would once. roll over. Yeah. But Egg White, Eggy, no. I don't like this. I don't like this uh, influencer boxing. I think it's stupid. 
Yeah, it's dumb. That Boogie fight was the most embarrassing fucking thing. For Boogie. For everyone. Yeah. For everyone, because then Keemstar has to go and, like, tweet and be like, oh, wasn't it so inspiring the way? I'm like, no. What do you mean? No. Like, he's, well, they, you were, they really put their heart out there. And I'm like, that was, you got two fat guys to fight because it's funny. Their hearts are, like, the size <laughs> of an elephant. And they're both fatter than shit. They didn't work out at all. No. They just got into a ring for, like, $10,000 and beat each other for laughs. <laughs> Boogie says, says he lost money after paying the trainer. Boogie or always <laughs> lies. He always lies. Uh, you mean uh, his trainer? Trainer a whore. Yeah. Well, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I paid all this money to my trainer. Oh, was she a prostitute? Uh, you know, I just, maybe. I, I hate, Ooh, maybe. <laughs> I hate all the guys who are like, well, you really got to give it to him for getting into the ring. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, look at me. I gave him my all for that. I gave him my all for that fight. I'm fucking. My tits hang down to my fucking knees. That is like, a, that's not harassment. <laughs> that, but fucking Tess Holiday is harassment. Tess Holiday is protected. Fuck you. Boogie's not protected because he's not a woman. Uh, all right, well, I'm not going to fight Eggy. I don't want to fight anyone. I think all the influencer boxing is stupid. Eggy would beat anyone he fought, no matter what. Well, I'm not anyone gonna, on earth. I don't want to fight him, then. On the John for 550 Canadian. Hey, Dick, did you see Vito let loose a... You should rap Eggy. I, 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 uh, you should freestyle rap battle Eggy. I would probably do okay at that. Yeah, I think you could beat Eggy. I like freestyle rap battling. I used to I used to freestyle a little bit. At the next live show, please ask Eggy if he would freestyle rap battle Vito. We should do some freestyle rap battle. That would be more entertaining. It would be let's set up a YouTuber rap battle instead of this fucking influencer boxing shit. That would be more fun. Yeah, let's do I it. I would have fun with that. Okay. Anyway, all right. Uh, did you know I let loose a TV off on my Zelda stream the other night? I will look into it. Somebody send it in. So you got to send him a clip. Also, Don't send it, it to me count. on Twitter. Send it to me on email. Yeah. Uh, Riley Edwards for 220 says fat brain causes ear infection. Okay. Pigeon SA 174 for 10 says thank you for not killing yourself. Okay. Antagonist for five says, Vito, please get glasses that feed properly so they won't fog up like that. It, they only fog up in here for some reason. Because of the air. Yeah, I think it's because you have the air conditioner. And whatever, I like fix it. CG for four ninety nine couldn't even stick to his price cap for 15 seconds. $3 is too much. <laughs> I would never pay four. <laughs> five is inconceivable. I would pay three. That's You'd the most. Seven I, bucks would, I would not pay seven bucks. If I was really thirsty, maybe. <laughs> D. Dotson, 45 for five. Vito, follow Dick's advice. Lies and apologies are free. Use them accordingly. Yeah, just apologize to Eric July. <laughs> I don't, I like, it's fine if me and Eric July don't like each other. It makes sense that we don't like each other. No, you would make more money if you apologize to him. And then you said, like, oh, black people are, uh, it's so great that you're, like, doing this and stuff. I want. I voted for Biden, and he's been really hard on black people. And then you just say like, a, like, be like this fucking Uncle Tom liberal. Yeah, and you make some money. You get some play. Eric July has a. He's a great. He's a great guy. What a guy. <laughs> Can't even he's funny. You know what? He had a video recently where like a really dumb guy went at him, and that was funny. Yeah, and I was like jealous that he had a guy that dumb. Well, coming at him, I'm like, I wish I had haters that dumb. You could that, be that dumb. Yeah, you could go in and say and like be, like a purposefully dumb, to get play. It's a very complicated situation, but yeah, I don't know. Hey, I love Eric Chilling. He's the best. Uh, LP Dirty T for forty nine. The TikTok pranks are pouring water from a gas can on people's cars. Then an old dude pulled a gun on him. An armed society is a polite society. I almost watched that video before coming in. I haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. So you see a guy's got like a gas can. He's pretending to pour gas on all people's shit. And he pulls a gun out. I guess somebody must have pulled a gun on him. I hope he gets shot. Well, that would be hilarious. Some people have been getting shot. Some guy got shot for like prank videos recently. That's so funny. Yeah. That's such a great That's prank. That's what happened to all those guys. Yeah. Fuzznut25 for 199 Why do you want Biden to win? Explain. That's two bucks. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> you got to tell me more. Guy cool, two, four, five, six for 30. I tap three white to cast jihad on no call to prayer. The beauty and might of Allah shines through the truly superior magic card and not very haram Pokemon card. So did he just negate the call to prayer donation of someone else? I think else? so. Now it's just now it's 50. Negative We're not doing any more accruing and buying of points. Yeah. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Oh. There. 
Dwab Winkle for five. Vito saying everything is a nightmare is his new to be fair. I do say it a lot. Oh, you said it. I suck. You fucking said it. I do do say that too often. Uh, Let's see. (laughs) Thank you. Fuzznut25 or 199 says, Vito, you're a baby. Plus, you do know me and you love me. You are. You are my child, all of you. Dominic for 20 with their 1999 says, Vito, I haven't bought your comic because I have absolutely no money to spend right now. Really a bummer. I wish I had the change. It really sucks. Again, he sent sucks. that for 1999. He spent mm. to send that message. Good that you got it through. <laughs> the message about how he has no money. Spider Eternal 2 says, You should <laughs> be fair. Vito is an insecure 12 year old girl. Yeah, there's some of that. Mad M for five says, Who needs red letter media when you have Tony from Hack the Movies? Yeah, Tony likes me. Because uh, Red Letter Media is uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> they are the guys I ripped off the most. Red Letter Media for a long time was the only YouTube channel I ever watched. It's so Everybody's talking about iDubs right now, and I'm literally, I'm like, I've never watched I've a never single watched iDubs, any iDubs video. Yeah. The only thing I know about him is Sam Hyde humiliated him, and it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. And he should have just rolled with it because it wouldn't have been cool. If he yeah. said, like, man, Sam Hyde's a genius. That was real crazy. He's got to dump his fat wife. She looks like shit. I, I I don't even know what she looks like. It's how little I care about I do. I'd probably charge, if I had to fuck her, I'd probably charge, like, $12,000. <laughs> Is it that bad? I mean, and she just w- looks dumpy and shitty. It's just weird that all these guys are like... <laughs> it looks like her ass stinks. Yeah, why know? do all these people have this connection to dubs? I guess he just... Was a big YouTube. He's guy. like Maddox. He's like, I'm just like calling people out. I'm like, okay, man. <coughs> wow, you're calling out the attention horrors. That's fucking dope, dude. <coughs> Excuse me, I got something in my throat. <coughs> Ugh. Dominic for four ninety nine says, sorry, just had to say I've liked you for a long time. So it'd really be a bummer if I couldn't get it. You know, money is really tight right now. You get it. Oh, he's following up on the. No, how, that's good. How he well, doesn't sucks, have man. any money. Maybe if you had, maybe if you had some more money. Car Fro for twenty says, uh, "I love Vito. Great strike as always." And something about the call to prayer. We're not doing it. Sorry, <laughs> we have no. no time. We'll give you. I'll give you a twenty dollars worth. Oops. Twenty dollars worth of oh. call to prayer. There. There we go. Legacy for five. I see and reply to both of you all the time. I have no delusions that we have a real social relationship. Here's some money. Well, now we do have a real social relationship. Tool Chess for 10 says, you're not anyone's internet dad, Vito. Comma Vito, you fucking idiot. <laughs> comma Vito. Don't just do dad Vito. Put the comma. <laughs> yeah, put it's right comma. there. It's like four letter. It's four keys away from the fucking V. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one cares. I know. And that's good to know. Dominic for 199. It says, enjoy the show. Fuzznut, 25 for two. It says, hurry, hide the shotgun. <laughs> Carlos Morongo for two. It says, wait a minute, Vito, no. Yeah. Pop quiz for 199. It puts a behind the scenes sticker. Okay. <laughs> Riley. Oh, maybe that's when we went off the air. I think so. Riley says, you're going to make it, buddy. Please do more acid this year. You need it. I could use you some do acid. Not do, do not do it. You got to well, do it. I don't care. <laughs> Did you roofie me, dick? Did you? Wait a minute. Did you roofie me, Dick? Is that what caused all this? Yeah, probably. You drugged me, you motherfucker. David Gomez for two. We love you, Vito. It gets real. Thank you. Uh, Warren for 10. The comic's going to be great. Don't worry. Uh, You're a funny guy. Thank you, Warren. Danny Fist says, Vito, someone needs to give you a hug. Not me, but someone. I tried to, but you were real weird about it. I'm like, I got to get back in there. <laughs> All right. I don't need a hug. I'm fine. Dominic for 499. They're raking in the super chats tonight, boys. <laughs> David Gomez for two, episode 91. Vito couldn't make it today. That's a good one. Guy Cool, 2456 for 20. Thanks, Carrie. You're a real one. I really feel what Dominic was saying. I'd love to order a comic, Vito, but bread is hard to come. All right. I get the bet. Everybody's got money. <laughs> <laughs> Mad M for five. A round of applause for Vito. Jazz fan, 22 for five. Vito, you don't have to be my dad. You just have TBF to yourself. Okay. Warren for two. Super chance you don't super kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carrie C for 10. You're not my real dad, Vito. Yes, I am. Wait, is this a girl? 
I think. Wait I think, a minute. Yeah, Carrie. I think Carrie's one who comes. Oh, by. that's the least erotic thing you could ever be told by a girl. You are not my real. You're dad. You're not my real dad. You love. Uh, you love daddy. John riffs for five. Believe in the power of friendship among internet racists. Dominic for five. Hey, KK Carl. This better be on. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Uh huh. Uh huh. Jim Satala for ninety nine. This episode was awesome, weird, but awesome. Vito, you also said you started on testosterone replacement therapy. I wonder if you also got anastrozole for estradiol suppression oh. that can cause massive hormonal emotional issues. Are you on TRT? I think I just need to sleep, guys. I think okay. I just- All right. Uh, but sure, let's go with that theory. Steve for two, best episode ever. ever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rex Sexer for five. I hate whacking into the shower because it gets clumpy and clogs the drain. Mm. But since Vito's about to cause a tissue shortage, I guess I can suffer. Dominic okay. for forty nine. I spent forty dollars tonight, so I really can't buy the comic book. <laughs> All right, I get the bit. Buy the comic. It's a funny bit. We're going to hit. Well, I think we we'll probably bid. hit 35K. That's what we're going to hit. Carl LP for 19.99. Vino needs to PDF file trade with Woody. That's how you get on the show. Yeah, people, oh, I don't know what's going on stuff. with that. Uh, Jay Thompson, 13.27 for five. I met Ethan back in the day a few times, and I talked to JDA consistently. EVS is a good guy who, like you said, was railroaded. Yeah. yeah again, I've known John Delarose. People don't know this, but... Uh, that guy wrote a book for the company I was working for, so I met him back in the day. And everybody hates that guy, too, and, you know, calls him a conservative, you know, and then, you know, he's done some crazy shit. I get it. You I get it? I get I mean, I get what he's doing. He's nuts. But uh, the hate's too much out there. LP Dirty T for four ninety nine. John Carmack's now a Nazi for wanting to go to a convention. Social media is making everyone crazy. The good people will support you. Use back by. Social media did not do this. People have been crazy for a long time. I think a long, I think, long time. They were I, hiding under desks in case of nu- nuclear bombs. Well, I think people, look, I think the root of like most. They, bur- they hung witches. I think the root of most problems comes down to like economic insecurity. And when people are losing their jobs because they supported the wrong president, it makes people go fucking nuts. It makes people go crazy. I totally get yeah. it. Okay. Like I've lost out on opportunities because of like dumb shit I believe or have said or whatever else. And it just makes you fucking nuts. And uh, yeah. that, that's the worst thing about this cancel culture uh, shit is it just makes everybody go fucking crazy. Um, where are we? Uh, go down right there. Corn pop. Corn pop puts a picture right. of a duck. Cool. Piss, pissing on something. I, I don't. I don't. Pig. <laughs> is it a pig? I think so. I don't know. Another duck. I think it's a duck. It's a chicken pissing on a duck. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about that? Only in America. Crabzula for five fifty-five Canadians says thirty percent of Canadians support prescribing assisted suicide for homelessness. Yeah, let's get those numbers up, folks. Yeah, stinky poopy face for five. Great show, guys. Excited to get out of work early enough to catch the show live and leave a super chat. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks. Did you Fantastic. see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you saw the show because uh, I derailed the fuck out of it. Uh, Jefferson for nine ninety nine USD says Vito Dick. I'm buying the shirt if i have to watch your show on cozy well, it'll be on rumble it'll too. also be on rumble it's going at the same time and then jew h who is uh <laughs> well that's his name donates 220 canadian dollars How much is that wait and does a not minute. leave a message wait a minute is that worth something or what yes that's worth something 20 canadian i think that's like 100 USD. No, wait canadian is whoa is it's not, 150 bucks yeah, it's like 150 bucks whoa Oh, wow! That's incredible. Wow. Oh. One time. I should have If you ever. a canoe but the pokemon card straight as arrow as a tectonic plate as a lie you can cry 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 like child and pokemon card they are fine you lose at last minute 
it not to draw a good energy. <laughs> Can't pull your Reggie Gigas out of the graveyard into play. You can cry. Magic. Not possible. Can't even breathe on the card. Or else you will go. Like, Sometimes the quality is okay. Or else you will go like a Mexican chubby beans. Boop, 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 <laughs> popping all over like a magic card trick. The magic card quality is getting a little better. Magic card quality goes at the bottom. <laughs> magic card quality. Woman quality. higher than that. You should uh, you should get a pack of Goat. Dominaria Remastered. Those were some crisp cards, I tell you what. Pokemon cards shut think you can use it as placement. <laughs> the card that had placement of solar Pokemon system around are the back. Pretty nice. They're pretty good. Can carve all the teaching of Allah on the back. I am pretty jealous of how nice the Pokemon cards look. <sighs> Maybe and Magic will catch up. Thick of them. Yeah. Can't even shuffle them. They're so thick. You ever get one of those textured Pokemon cards? It's like, you can feel it. Yes, it's for a braille. The people that have cursed, Allah sometimes have cursed men with blindness. All women cursed with blindness, number one, can't drive. But some men cursed with blindness, so they have to feel the back of the Pokemon card. All right. <laughs> There's your call to prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Jew Hitch, for the J U, not J E W. But you're sa- you're saying it like you're obviously G-H. thinking Jew. Jew H. I don't know yeah. how to say it otherwise. J H. Two goddamn gentlemen for five says that's how you know G- Vito isn't brackets. He can't say Zikth and other guttural. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. D Dotson forty five for two. Vito T B F. You need a laugh. I'm hoping. Jihado bot for 25 just says, please. Oh, you got your jihad. You got your fucking call to prayer. Snazzy Raz for 20 says, this show has made two guys cry so far. Who was the other one? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did you anybody cry on the previous show? Oh, Maddox. <laughs> Maddox cried, yeah. <laughs> How many episodes of the dick show have that guy randomly break down for no good reason? Ah, uh, drunken atheist studio for two. Rap battle is better than influencer boxing. Eggy, call you. Got to call Eggy you know, out. Yeah, I want to fight. Hold on, let me. Let me. No, I don't. Let I me don't get a beatbox. Fight. Hold on. Beat, oh, we're gonna rap. Rap freestyle. Freestyle uh, free, rap beat. Freestyle rap beat. Okay. You got to issue a challenge to Eggy. All right, let's do it. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Let's do it. Ready? Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. MC in the house. Oh! Oh! I'm going to wait for the beat to drop here. Yeah, yeah. Vito. Yeah. Super yeah. killer. Yeah. Super yeah. killer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a grown man crying on the internet. Dropping limes and I ain't going to break a sweat. Fuck Eggy, I'm going to fuck that motherfucker up. Hit him with my mad fucking uppercut. Lyrical style like you ain't ever fucking seen. Better open up your best fucking magazine. See me busting out style with the mad rhymes. If I ain't get my rhymes in, it's a crime. Vito GGG, drop it so easily. Ain't no motherfucker gonna step to me. Eggy is a motherfucking F slur. You know that I fuck his girlfriend. I fucked her. Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Gonna drop a lyrical style onto you. You better back off with your boxing F. Shit, I don't give a fuck. You're gonna get hit by this part. Oh my god! Oh my god! Eggy totally destroyed, whipped. Eggy has been whipped. The eggs have been whipped. The jello is jiggling. The I yolk do think we have has been extracted. It's been the a while. egg was fermented right now. Did you see that, I honey? Did had you? Some egg pounds. Ah, ah, that would have ah. been smart. Wow. Trader Joe's <laughs> fertilized eggs. I think That's we, what that was. Should, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, wow. It was a rough draft. Uh, Get the super chats in. Get the super chats in. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Eggy, it's over. Eggy, it is over for you. Uh, Sunny side down. Woo! We'll uh, we'll try. We'll we'll make something happen. I think if we did influencer rap battling, it would be cool. Oh, if it was like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like I said, you know, when I was in high school. Everybody was into rap. Uh, where? 
And fucking and Oakland? It was all, no, it was all white kids, like, pretending to be rappers. That's all I grew up around. Oh! <laughs> Eggy! <laughs> Does Eggy rap? Is that even a thing? I don't know if he raps that good. <laughs> I don't he, know if Eggy he rap raps. All? He's a famous rapper, yeah. Oh, okay. Egg White, Eggy is a famous rapper. Well, maybe we can... Woo! <laughs> it wasn't that good. It was all right. All right. Well, I, I think we should make the rap battle happen. The I gauntlet think cool. is down. <laughs> the gauntlet is down, Egg White. Joe Ray for nine. Egg White, you have nothing on my man Vito. I don't know nothing. what this episode is. This nothing. Episode. And Monkey Jones, you have not as good film reviews as Vito also. This episode is a tonal mess. It is all over the place. What is the arc of this episode? <laughs> Joe Ray for nine ninety nine, best episode yet, biggest breakdown See? in the universe. Utah based Armenian for two it says use this for the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. They're closing the Star Wars hotel. I'm never gonna get to go because I don't have six grand. Can you like buy it out of the garbage? I, I want to sneak into it after they shut it down, but I'm sure they'll just, I don't know, knock the whole thing down. Yeah. Human Dynamo for five. I just want to say I recently watched Kingpin and Dumb and Dumber, and Kingpin has to be fairly brothers. Fuck. What? You didn't say Rated. it. Well, yeah, it has to be. Oh. I suck, Cox. I, I didn't even think you said it yet. Yeah. I said wow. Fairly Brothers. I started saying Fairly Brothers. Wow. Got me. Good one. Fairly Brothers humor at its finest. That was a good one. Good one, Human Dynamo. It was so good that Dick didn't even, rec didn't even recognize it. I was reading it, and I was like, well, you didn't get there. I got there. I'm oh, yeah, pretty you sure. Did, you did. You did. You did. Granola boy for five. Hey, Dick, I'm late. Is there a plan for the TDS videos fan archive project? Do you have them still? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you have them I'll somewhere? I'll talk about it. Yeah. We're figuring out. Yeah. Uh, I wondered if I had any, but I don't think I do. Bermudav three for five. Vito, why do you always look like the PDF file and always sunny the fat one? I don't remember that character. It's the Geek Getaway for two said, did I miss Vito crying? I think he did. Yeah. Uh, that didn't happen. What are you talking about? Now I'm a my for 199. Shout out to Gabe Itches. Gabe Itches. I get it. Yeah. Guy cool two four five six for five. The one show I donate to. There's no call to prayer. You got it. You got it. You got it. It happened. CG for 499. Liberals in these core are just enforcing new age blasphemy laws. Instead of a witch trial, they just want you to kill yourself. Just laugh at them. Move on. I mean, there is some of that. I mean, I talk to some of these guys and like I I, I do get the feeling that they're like. I wish all these conservatives would just kill themselves. And I'm like, well, you can't, that's not going to happen. And stop, you stop wanting that. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. What is happening? There okay, there go. we go. Carlos Marungo for two, 150 USD. That's 7.5 TBFs from Vito. He did the math. David Gomez for five. Don't worry, I'll always follow slash pay for both shows, even if they get banned, even if I blow the unhoused behind a dumpster for it. No, kill the unhoused. <laughs> We're gonna get banned. Stop it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just yeah, in Minecraft. Just kidding. In Minecraft. Just Bermuda kidding. for five. Fire veto freestyle. WF. Guy cool for five. There was a call to prayer in all fa fairness. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anytime I see the word fair now, I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, I rescind my statement. Vito Jizzy G got bars. Steve for five. Can't quit now. It can't get better than this. Manny Muskets for five. I quit rap and started comedy because I couldn't do what Vito <laughs> just did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Carlo cool. LP for nine ninety nine. A little bit more dollars for that freestyle. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. More money. More Rex money. Section for two says, I don't know if it was this show, but a stereos cried. Did that happen? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. On the on your show? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Fantastic. <laughs> Granola Boy for five. Turn it up. Billy, the guy in the YouTube chat, too poor to buy a super chat, but who I graciously gave a voice. Long live Billy. Okay, well, that's enough. Okay. You didn't get in at this point. Go fuck yourself. Uh, do, do we fix that thing with the list of people, or do we still not fix it? No, that? I didn't fix it. Okay, Sorry. we need to fix that. Well, that was the worst episode ever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's going down in the history books of all-time greatest broadcasts. <laughs> of internet broadcasting. If this makes cringe of the week, I will kill him. No, I won't. You know, this will be cringe of the year. Are you kidding? <laughs> A... I've been panicked breakdown where people are worried if you're going to fucking kill yourself, <laughs> me included. I don't, that makes... I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm upset about. I'm just I want everybody. I'm to, upset about my shirt. I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to make money. I don't want anybody to be deplatformed. 
Uh, I didn't even want to, and I know people are probably going to say, oh, Vito's a hypocrite because he was mad at Alex Jones or whatever. I don't even want, I didn't even want those guys to be deplatformed. I don't want it. I'm going to find the people who fucks with me and I'll fuck with them big time. I don't like, yeah, well, I don't like this reporting people and the snitching and the whatever else. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't that's know. fine. If you fuck with me, I'm coming to fuck with you big time. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right. I'm going to find yeah. some kids. I'm going to pay them to fuck with your kids when they get older. I just I'm wanna... getting fucking full on Hannibal Lecter, the show, not the movie on your ass. I just want Sam Hyde to get a movie and everybody to be happy. That's fine. And I'm not All stopping right. then. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget Super Killer is still available on Indiegogo. <laughs> <laughs>